chapter three thousand three hundred one third heaven stage of four peak just now all his attention had been on the devil eye water lilies but as over a hundred black dragon corpses had been tossed into the black soil the amount of life energy they unleashed was extraordinary hence although the devil eye water lilies were growing very slowly the wood foundation divine trees showed some crazy growth currently they were three thousand miles tall and several miles thick also their tree bark was now in a scale-like pattern he then cut off a small branch the thickness of a thumb and found that even the bone saber couldn't cut it very easily the hardness of this single branch was already no different and that of a treasure item the greatest surprise was that every tree now had ninety-nine flower buds that signified that they had matured and could bear fruit however it was said that the wood foundation divine trees took three thousand years to flower and three thousand years to bear fruit moreover the fruit would only start to mature after another three thousand years all in all it would take nine thousand years from the moment it flowered to the point where the fruit could be consumed that was what made the wood foundation divine trees so precious heaven master yun yang's senior apprentice sister had obtained one of those fruits that single fruit then merged with her wood energy and allowed her to awaken her primal bloodline there were also four seeds in the pit of that fruit she had consumed one while keeping three of them and when long chen asked for one she was willing to give him one but only one it could be seen just how precious this fruit was long chen was delighted to see the flowers as long as he continued to provide a steady stream of corpses into the primal chaos space he would be able to obtain countless wood foundation divine fruit in fact he was even thinking about going back to the vile dragon domain and clearing all vile dragon valley if all the vile dragons there were eliminated that should be enough for the wood foundation divine fruit to mature in fact even the seed pods of the devil eye water lilies might reach maturity regretfully the devil eye water lily was different from other life forms he couldn't rip out their roots and transplant them to grow more of them if he wanted more of them he would need to rely on their seeds for now he couldn't return to the vile dragon domain that devil eye water lily had set its gaze on him as long as he returned he would definitely be discovered furthermore he had a bad feeling about the vile dragon domain so he was happy to leave it before advancing to at least the divine lord realm he didn't dare to face that terrifying fellow again its terrifying power made him think of liu ryan the undying willow race was the true emperor of the undying race and its position was even above the devil i water lily he didn't know what kind of terrifying divine abilities Liu Ryan would awaken upon returning to the undying willow race's land. He also didn't know if this icy, vengeful woman would want to take revenge on him. It could be said that he had experienced the terror of the devil, I water lily. Just being able to survive this time was purely thanks to luck. He shouldn't be so hot-headed in the future. Having used up all his corpses, all he had left were hundreds of dragon hides, eyes, and cores. The dragon eyes were also used for refining the violet tower pill, so Long Chen let them by Huo Linger's side to dry out for the future. The cores could be sold. They were priceless treasures. As for the hides, he felt a headache when it came to them. None of them were complete they were full of holes because of the devil i water lily if they weren't broken then these hides could be turned into armor and then even treasure items would have difficulty leaving a single mark on them but with so many holes their value had sharply dropped yet he was also unwilling to let them be absorbed by the black soil so he chose to keep them for now and discuss it with jang wen long later his mind then exited the primal chaos space the light sound woke up by shishi who was sitting beside him she opened her beautiful eyes and smiled 
what have you profited your smile is so wretched long chen was someone whose emotions were written on his face his mood was very good with the transplant of the devil i water lily and the flowering of the wood foundation divine trees even by she she could see his joy this fell looked to be on the verge of dancing in joy which made by she she almost giggle there were many times when long chen was just like a large child is my smile so wretched you're going to be smiling even more wretchedly in a bit long chen grabbed by she she's hand she immediately turned red and nervously said don't mess around it wouldn't be good to be seen like this by xiaol kin feng kai yu and zhu zixian were all outside guarding them if they were to look inside she would be very embarrassed with long chen holding her hand she felt an indescribable nervousness but she quickly couldn't even think about being nervous as long chen had placed a golden seed in her hand the seed still had some blood on it and it was long chen's when he had touched this seed it was as if there were millions of thorns on it and it left his finger bloody in the primal chaos space this seed was still an obedient child but as soon as it was outside it bared its fangs its terrifying metal energy was incredibly destructive long chen hastily put it into bai shishi's hand curiously it immediately went from a raging beast to a cute rabbit in her hand it actually had such an affinity with her this this it it sensing the pulsing metal energy inside bai shishi almost jumped up she covered her mouth unable to believe her eyes this tiny seed contained endless energy furthermore it was the purest form of metal energy she could simply absorb it this is one of the five seeds and it perfectly suits you absorb it and you will be the strongest expert amongst us ah let me apologize i might not have had enough reverence for you before it was truly rude i hope that you'll look after me in the future said long chen solemnly bowing bai shi shi laughed she stared at the golden seed in her hand happily you gave me the golden sword and now even this seed i bai shi shi was a bit embarrassed without your help there's no way i could have obtained the seed pod i'd have even lost my life we're all a family so there's no need for such courtesy said long chen hearing that bai shi shi reddened in her ears those words had another layer of meaning however long chen didn't notice the change in bai shi shi's emotions he was only thinking of how bai shi shi's cultivation base was about to soar with this lotus and four peak pills her metal energy would grow even stronger and she even had the golden sword now even long chen would stay away from her in a fight suddenly a muffled sound came from within long chen's body his aura suddenly rose his kai blood essence soul tendons bones and every other attribute soared in power without even thinking about it long chen had advanced to the third heaven stage of the four peak realm even bai shishi jumped when that happened long chen's advancement came out of nowhere so if i want to digest the medicinal energy faster i need to fight more by stimulating my potential the medicinal energy will be rapidly used up long chen's eyes brightened he had just entered the second heaven stage when they entered the vile dragon domain it had only been a few days but he had reached the third heaven stage it was definitely related to his fight with the devil i water lily hence he instantly saw a new cultivation path for him as expected the nine star hegemon body art was created for battle with this he could rapidly advance then his realm wouldn't be thrown too far behind everyone else long chen shouldn't we return to the academy and report our findings asked bai shishi what kind of joke is that now that we've come out 
if we didn't take advantage and do something big how could we have the face to return um brother will bring you to travel the world laughed long chen favorite chapter three thousand three hundred two heavenly rainbow flame they already know that we visited the vile dragon domain we've been exposed at this time i feel like we should go back and report things said by shi shi hesitantly long chen laughed and looked at her being stared at like this she reddened and angrily said what did i say something wrong do you know why the academy gave this mission to me and not you asked long chen i suppose because you're so amazing said bai shi shi frostily damn you really turn hostile faster than the pages of a book you're getting angry just like that asked long chen with a laugh how am i angry said bai shi shi turning away fortunately long chen had many women beside him and had long since gotten used to such a thing he said when the generals are outside the king's orders can't reach them. We are no longer children that need to discuss everything with our father and mother. Every person has their own style of handling things. Since the academy left this problem to me, I don't need to discuss my plan with them. Furthermore, if the academy really had a method, would they need me a little for Pete disciple? So you should just listen to me. From the mortal world to the immortal world, I've experienced all kinds of dangers. I've seen countless schemes. When you follow me, there's no need to bring your brain. Just relax. Look at the four of them. They are not worried at all. Aren't they very happy? Don't say that I didn't warn you. But women who worry about things always age the fastest. HMPH, go lie to some ghosts instead. I'm not going to believe you. Bai Shishi glared at Long Chen in response to his final sentence. In her heart, she had no choice but to admit that Long Chen had far more experience than her. He was admonishing her as tactfully as he could, so she was grateful for this. She also knew that it wasn't her place to ask certain things. But she liked to know what was happening and have a sense of control. She didn't like running forward in the dark. Long Chen had already turned cold-faced to her because of this matter. Now she made the same mistake again. This level of admonishment was definitely as tactful as he could be. Hence, Bai Shishi finally accepted this and no longer asked him any questions. Long Chen sighed with relief. This girl was truly stubborn, and it gave him a bit of a headache. Bai Shishi had always had a halo of light following her. She had always been this stubborn, so changing this part of her character was impossible. Asking her to take a small step back was all he could ask so that they could work together peacefully. Long Chen, don't leave today. Give me a day, said Bai Shishi suddenly. What? Why? Asked Long Chen. If I ask you for time, then give me time. If you're not going to permit me to ask anything... Are you also not going to let me be willful at all? Bai Shishi smiled. Fine. Long Chen was speechless. This was pure revenge. Bai Shishi directly went into meditative cultivation, so Long Chen helplessly guarded her. There was nothing for him to do during this time. Later during the day, Zhu Zixin caught some wild game and roasted it for everyone. Zhu Zixin was a bit foolish but sensible. He knew that he was the weakest of everyone here, so he always took the initiative in dealing with minor affairs, sometimes to the point where Kin Feng and the others felt embarrassed. Kin Feng told him that they were all brothers and there was no need for him to act like this. But Zhu Zixing still continued. As Long Chen ate with everyone, he suddenly noticed something. Amongst all of them, he had the lowest cultivation base Navaloon, Kamsi Gujarati Shunya M. Kaiyu was at the fifth heaven stage. Kin Feng and Zhu Zixin were at the fourth heaven stage. As for Bai Ziaol, who knew how, but despite never seeing him cultivate, he was on the same level as Kaiyu. Amongst all of them, Bai Shishi was the one with the highest cultivation base. She had reached the sixth heaven stage. 
Long Chen could only sigh when it came to that. The cultivation speed of the nine-star hegemon body art was truly slow. Boom! Just then, a golden pillar of light erupted, and a layer of gold seemed to appear on everything. A powerful aura shook the land. Late stage four peak realm. Bai Shishi had actually used half a day to advance to the late stage four peak realm. Golden light continued to shine out of her body with her breakthrough. That devil, I water lily's metal seed, really is terrifying. Bai Shishi had just advanced when we came out and she had yet to even stabilize her realm. But now she directly advanced to the seventh heaven stage. Long Chen was envious. As a master of metal energy, Bai Shishi was blessed by heaven and earth. She had absorbed the energy of the lily seed to cultivate so quickly that it left everyone else in the dust. Now that she was in the late stage, her metal energy was several times greater than before. As long as she was careful, it was just barely possible for her to control the golden sword without suffering from a backlash. At this moment, the golden light slowly retracted, and her explosive aura also steadied. She had grown accustomed to her new realm. It had to be known that for ordinary experts, making their aura steady after advancing might take 10 to 15 days. As for advancing to the late stage, they might need an entire month to stabilize their cultivation base. But Bai Shishi had finished in just a moment. When Bai Shishi opened her eyes, a golden mark flickered in each of them. In a bit, the mark vanished and her aura returned to normal. Amazing. Long Chen was envious. Her aura was contained to the point where it was exactly the same as before. Her control was extremely strong and she didn't even need some time to adapt to her new power. She was already in control of her power, which had just grown explosively. That was almost outside the laws of the cultivation world. Only now did Long Chen understand why Bai Shishi had wanted a day for her. So as soon as she had obtained the metal element seed, she had known that advancing to the late stage would be no problem for her. Perhaps if she wasn't afraid of her realm growing unstable, she would directly absorb more energy from the seed and advance three realms all the way to the Divine Lord realm. The energy within the seed was the purest metal energy and contained no side effects. It was millions of times better than four peak pills. It was truly a priceless treasure. Bai Shishi's eyes revealed her joy. Advancing with the help of the lily seed only caused her foundation to grow more solid. Now, she felt even closer to all the world's metal energy, and she could control it freely. With Bai Shishi having advanced to the late stage, Long Chen's confidence inflated. He then brought them back to the Yuhua Prefecture and found the Huayan Trading Company's headquarters there. He left the cores and dragged in hides for Zheng Wenlong to handle. Zheng Wenlong's business would have to grow to a certain level before he would be given greater authority. Long Chen also needed him to have more authority to help him find more treasures. After dealing with that matter and chatting a bit for politeness, Long Chen asked the manager of this branch, Is there anything fun going on in the nearby domains? You really did ask. Just yesterday, in the neighboring Heavenly Rainbow domain, the Heavenly Rainbow manifestation appeared. It is said to be a sign that the Heavenly Rainbow flame is on the verge of appearing. The experts of all the nearby domains have heard of it and are rushing over there, said the manager. The heavenly rainbow flame that is ranked ninth on the heavenly flame rankings. Long Chen's heart began to pound wildly. Chapter 3303 Flocking Toward One Place The Heavenly Rainbow Flame was ranked ninth on the heavenly flame rankings. It possessed a divine radiance containing all the colors of the rainbow and was capable of melting all things. Legend had it that starting 80 million years ago, the heavenly rainbow domain started giving birth to the heavenly rainbow flame, causing the domain's name to change to the heavenly rainbow domain. 
there were records that the heavenly rainbow flame had appeared seven times in total throughout history. If it truly came out this time, then it would mean that the flame came out perfectly once every ten million years. It was different from the other flames on the heavenly flame rankings. All the top nine heavenly flames were born of heaven and earth. They were spiritual entities containing the karmic luck of thousands. When they were born, they would find their own masters. If they couldn't find someone that had a destiny with them, they would simply cultivate on their own. The heavenly rainbow domain had once produced a terrifying genius known as the heavenly rainbow fairy. Legend had it that she was an existence resulting from a heavenly rainbow flame cultivating on its own and maturing. She was born in the heavenly rainbow domain, lived in the heavenly rainbow domain, and spent a lifetime protecting the heavenly rainbow domain. When the immortal world faced a terrifying battle, the heavenly rainbow fairy died to protect the heavenly rainbow domain. To express their gratitude for her sacrifice, the people built a statue of her. All people within the heavenly rainbow domain, whether good or bad, had to prostrate themselves in worship toward this statue. The place where the heavenly rainbow fairy statue was located was a restricted zone. Anyone who showed the slightest disrespect to her in that zone would be hunted down by the entire heavenly rainbow domain. Just yesterday, the heavenly rainbow fairy's statue lit up. According to the ancient records, that was the premonition for the birth of a new heavenly rainbow flame. Some believed that every time a heavenly rainbow flame appeared, it was the reincarnation of the heavenly rainbow fairy. Thus, all of the heavenly rainbow domain became exceptionally lively. It was said that the heavenly rainbow flame would choose a master not based on their power, but someone with limitless potential, who possessed a righteous heart. It would pick a kind youngster to accompany through life. In the past, the heavenly rainbow flame always chose a four-peak disciple. All those who were chosen became overlords in the future, figures that shook their era. All four peak geniuses had a chance of becoming the master of the heavenly rainbow flame. Thus, there were countless four peak geniuses rushing over to the heavenly rainbow domain when they heard the news. Long Chen was also moved. This was something that would allow him to soar in an instant if he could obtain it. By the time Long Chen and the others set off, there were already countless beautiful flying boats shooting past them in an all-out race toward the heavenly rainbow domain. Some people were even carried by terrifying devil beasts. Some went so far as to piss in front of Long Chen and the others flying boats, infuriating by Zile. This was a clear provocation. Rat bastards, if my devil dragon steed hadn't been killed, I'd make sure it ate yours. If I didn't make you piss your pants, I wouldn't be surnamed by, cursed by Zile. He had gained control over a devil dragon. He was originally very happy to have such a flashy mount. But then it was killed by the devil I water lily, aggrieving him. Now that these fellows were showing off their immortal king devil beast mounts flashily, his teeth hurt from how hard he clenched them. These mounts were all artificially raised, so they had long since lost their devil nature. Other than for scaring others, they didn't really have much combat power. If the devil dragon was here, these beasts wouldn't even dare to move. They would obediently let themselves be consumed. One flying boat after another streaked through the air. Long Chen's flying boat was like a slow ox in comparison. Seeing Bai Zile looking at her, Bai Shishi said, don't look at me. My flying boats were bought from the academy with my own money. Also, the golden war chariot cannot be used outside the heavenly swell domain. It's not like you don't know the academy's stinginess. Furthermore, isn't a certain someone the dean of the high firmament academy? Why doesn't he have his own special flying boat? Bai Shishi turned to Long Chen. He was speechless. Why did this problem have to be his to handle? The academy belonged to their Bai family. 
They refused to give anything to him for free, so how could they ask him? Low-key, low-key. A person must be low-key. Long Chen could only spit out such an excuse. The main thing was that even if he wanted to be high-key, his financial power didn't allow it. The flying boats that those people were using were the best flying boats of their sects. Some were specifically made to give face to their sect masters, so there really was no comparison. These disciples all had powerful experts accompanying them. To put it frankly, ignoring whether or not they would obtain the heavenly rainbow flame, they had to uphold the face of the sect. By coming out, they were representing their sect. Without a certain level of power, then they at least had to act like they had some power. Boss, will people think we are easy to bully and try to pick a fight with us? Asked Zhu Zixin. I wish. Long Chen shrugged. It would be best if someone tried to rob them. That was equivalent to sending them gifts. He naturally wouldn't reject that. It's wishful thinking. Our flying boat is so bad that they aren't even interested in robbing us. Kin Feng bitterly smiled. Bai Shishi's flying boat was the most ordinary flying boat sold within the academy. Its appearance was only average from the start, but after experiencing this journey it was badly damaged. It had even been carried in the mouth of black dragons. Even without biting down, just the saliva of the black dragon was very corrosive. Hence, the flying boat was covered in rust and stains. If they came out in such a flying boat, which fool would want to rob them? They were probably afraid that whoever was inside was a poor ghost and would take a bite out of them. Thus, while there were some insulting movements toward them, no one tried to stop them. The so-called barefoot people were unafraid of people wearing shoes principle was shown quite clearly here. Zyol, don't feel bad. Don't you have dragon eggs? We've entrusted them to the Huayan Trading Company to send to the Academy. The Academy will definitely arrange for specialized people to incubate them. Once they hatch, a beast tamer will help you raise them. As long as you have enough money... They can grow very quickly, comforted Long Chen. However, Bai Ziyol was still staring angrily as other people's glorious flying boats and steeds passed them. But it's such a huge scene here. Without something to show off, I still feel unhappy, said Bai Ziyol. Long Chen shook his head. This fellow really was the same kind of show-off as Guo Ran. What was different was that Bai Ziyol was often beaten by his father, to the point of feeling inferior. He needed to show off his own brilliance and enjoy other people's gazes on him, using their shock and admiration to find his own sense of confidence. If Bai Ziyol were to encounter Guo Ran, the two would definitely be like bees that had found nectar. They would instantly become good brothers. After flying through multiple transportation formations separated by regions, they reached the heavenly rainbow domain. And, as soon as they entered this domain, Long Chen clearly felt that the flame laws of this domain were much stronger than other domains. He suddenly had a thought. If he were to unleash the world extermination flame lotus here, just what kind of terrifying effect would it have? Stop right there. Just as they entered the heavenly rainbow domain, a group of rogues stopped them. We've encountered the toll collectors. Long Chen smiled disdainfully. Chapter 3304 Flames of Fury Ignite Boss Long, we were wrong. If we had known you would be coming, we wouldn't have dared to offend you even if it cost us our lives. Over ten divine lords were kneeling on the ground, and their leader was weeping bitterly. Those divine lords had been trying to rob them. But after a quick beating from Qin Feng, Kai Yu, and Zhu Zixin, they were kneeling and begging for mercy. Also, when they saw Long Chen walk off of the flying boat, their souls almost fled their bodies in terror. It was like seeing a Yama king. They instantly cried out, weeping. All they wanted was for Long Chen 
to not kill them. Bai Shishi was surprised by this reaction. Was Long Chen's fame really so great? It had even reached the heavenly rainbow domain. Even Long Chen was surprised. Their terrified expressions didn't seem to be fake. Are you afraid of me? asked Long Chen. No, not afraid, worshipful. Yes, we fervently worship you. Every day, we dream, every night we cry to follow your side. Stop. If you don't give me a real answer, I'll cut off your head, said Long Chen coldly. This fellow was treating him like a three-year-old child. What kind of bullshit was this? It was practically an insult to his intelligence. We really do admire you. Practically everyone in the nearby domains knows your name, said that person hastily. How did you come to know of it? asked Long Chen. In the Yuhu Palace, you killed their top heavenly genius, Jiang Bei. He was a terrifying underworld ghost seed. News of this has spread far and wide. Bai Shishi and the others nodded when they heard this answer. So it was due to the matter of the underworld ghost sea. That was understandable. The implications of an underworld ghost sea were immense. It would be best if word of it spread as far as possible. As a result, Long Chen's name would also spread. But get to the point. Why are you afraid of me? asked Long Chen, his expression not changing. Terrified, that person finally said the reason, and it made Bai Shishi and the others' expressions change. Raging, killing intent then exploded out of all of them. When Jiang Bei was killed by Long Chen and the news of the underworld ghost seed spread, a rumor also spread with it. That was that Long Chen was very likely another underworld ghost seed. It was said that individual underworld ghost seeds were independent and could kill each other for power. When Long Chen went to the Yuhua Palace, he immediately caused a fight with Jiang Bei. His intention was clear from the start, so people couldn't help but question his motives. As a result of this rumor, countless people suspected him of being an underworld ghost seed as well. This rumor had long since spread to the streets. But, during this time, Long Chen was in the vile dragon domain, a rather isolated space. Thus, he hadn't heard these rumors. This news made Zhu Zixin curse. Do these idiots have crap instead of brains? They'll believe such nonsense. Just who was harming boss? I'll kill them. Kin Feng clenched his teeth. It was definitely Jiang Weisha. He is unwilling to just let his Jiang family's heavenly genius die at boss's hand. Since he doesn't dare to find boss for revenge himself, he spread this rumor. The High Firmament Academy is against Lord Brahma, so anyone affiliated with Lord Brahma will automatically believe this rumor and push it on. As long as people start pointing their weapons at boss, when boss counterattacks, it will turn into a bloodbath. Then countless people will say that he is an underworld ghost seed killing people of the immortal world. Through this, what is false will become true, said Kai Yu darkly. Kai Yu knew Jiang Wai Zhang better than the others. He was very petty and stubborn. This kind of thing was definitely in line with his style. They had all seen the hatred and rancor in his eyes when they left. Then isn't Long Chen going to become everyone's target? Asked by Shishi, a bad feeling rising in her heart. Countless heavenly geniuses were now flocking to the heavenly rainbow domain. The top experts of the nearby domains were all here. As these prideful experts were like bulls in heat, it was all too easy for them to start fighting each other. If Long Chen appeared, it would definitely cause countless waves. Countless people would challenge Long Chen under the guise of righteousness. With Long Chen's temper, would he possibly indulge them? Long Chen would definitely slaughter those fools, but that would simply be jumping into their trap. Thinking of that, Bai Shishi couldn't help shivering. This was a malicious plot with no antidote. Jiang Weizhang was truly sinister. No, don't call it being everyone's target. 
it's only natural that boss longsan becomes the focal point no matter where he goes i very much enjoyed a feeling i pass through the mortal world just like that i'm not afraid of death if they want to come then let them come the immortal world's principles weren't born through talking but through killing once i kill them to the point where they are afraid then what i say will be what's right no one can retort long chen was also furious inside but since this had happened just being angry was useless long chen wasn't afraid of any scheme this malicious scheme which turned him into the target of countless people actually made his battle intent rise he wouldn't bother to explain himself as there was nothing that his saber couldn't resolve if there was something like that then he would use two sabers Navaloon, come boss long we have the utmost confidence in you how could you be an underworld ghost see the oldest academy of the world the high firmament academy couldn't possibly have misjudged you especially considering your fame it's absolutely impossible we'll definitely join forces with our friends to help you write your name those people that are ruining your name are absolutely immoral cried out the bandit ringleader he swore solemnly patting his chest his powerful desire to live was clearly shown at the moment by she she looked at that person he didn't look to be a good fellow if such a fierce and ominous fellow were to help testify for long chen it would probably have the opposite effect these people were rogue cultivators the phenomena in the heavenly rainbow domain had drawn countless people over and they had also come to take advantage of it of course any majestic flying boats or majestic steeds were too intimidating for them to even get close to however by shishi's flying boat was old and broken so they had set their sights on them but they hadn't expected to run into a yama king they all wanted to cry and blame their terrible luck just as they thought that they would finally have some meat to eat they didn't even know if they would be keeping their lives boss the yuhua palace will definitely come this time if we encounter jiang waizhong let's cut off his head killing the chicken to warn the monkeys said bai Ziol hatefully everyone in the group felt that the current bai Ziol was no longer the old bai Ziol who was afraid of every little thing he finally had a bit of the flavor of a man a dancing clown like that doesn't need our attention if he does run into me then he can only blame his own fate for being so short if he doesn't then i won't waste the time and effort looking for him now that we've come to the heavenly rainbow domain the first thing to do is to show the people of the heavenly rainbow domain just who boss long san is long chen looked at the people kneeling on the ground bring me to the blood kill hall of your heavenly rainbow domain if you make up for your mistake with this i won't punish you for this matter chapter three thousand three hundred five blasting through rotten with the heavenly rainbow domain had nineteen prefectures but only thirteen really existed now the other six had turned into lands of death it was said that those areas had sunk due to the battle of the ancient era the heavenly dows were in chaos in those locations whether it was humans beasts or other life forms they were unable to survive in that environment as for the so-called hundred domains and thousand prefectures of the immortal world it was also limited in numbers by this restraint considering how vast the nine heavens and ten lands were there were countless star fields but only around a hundred domains and a thousand prefectures were habitable the core of the heavenly rainbow flame was the immortal fairy prefecture it was also the largest of the prefectures even before they entered it they could see a rainbow in the sky that was the divine light from the heavenly rainbow fairy statue the sacrifice of the heavenly rainbow fairy was something all people were grateful to her for so countless people came to worship her statue although it was just a single divine statue 
the majority of the heavenly rainbow domain's faith energy was concentrated within it. This rainbow light was also called the light of faith, a symbol of the heavenly rainbow domain's thriving state. As for the core of the immortal fairy prefecture, it was covered in rainbow light. This was a sacred place. No one could use martial arts in this place, nor were they permitted to show the slightest disrespect for the heavenly rainbow fairy. This holy light had countless sects built around it. But no one was permitted to build a sect within that holy light. Immortal Kai revolved around the mountain range around the light, and a giant palace was built at the peak of these mountains. That place was Bloodkill Hall's headquarters in the heavenly rainbow domain. The exterior of it was covered in divine light. That was its grand formation. Countless figures were hiding within the dense forest around this area. There were even spaces underground. These were places for new disciples to practice their aura concealing techniques. Suddenly, golden light exploded around this palace. A golden sword slashed down from the heavens, slicing through the formation. Right behind it was a flame lotus. It rapidly grew in the air and was tossed down into the hole in the barrier made by the golden sword. Boom! The lotus exploded on contact with the palace, unleashing a devastating wave of fire. This entire space became a sea of flames. Enemy attack! Startled cries rang out. However, countless disciples didn't even have the chance to make a sound before being incinerated. Four peak experts screamed, but were unable to extinguish the flames on their bodies. In just a few breaths' time, they were dead. Only those hiding within the palace, who had at least reached the Divine Lord realm, were barely able to hang on. Boss Longsan has come, and Puda's disciples come out and face your deaths, shouted Long Chen. A bone saber slashed down within the flames, striking in Puda's statue at the front of the palace. Long Chen cut off its head. With the statue destroyed, in Puda's clone could not descend. Without a heavenly tribulation, no matter how arrogant Long Chen was, he didn't dare to fight in Puda directly. So he first destroyed his statue. Long Chen made sure to grab the head as well. Standing on Imputa's neck, he overlooked the palace. Blasphemer of the killing god, die. The Bloodkill Hall's experts were enraged when they saw Long Chen. Ignoring the flames around them, they charged at him. After that, the palace shuddered and three immortal kings flew out. Those three people had just appeared when a golden streak of light flashed. Sword light blasted the three of them apart. Nice! It was Bai Shishi. Her attack was incredible, and even immortal kings could not resist her sword. After advancing to the late stage of the Four Peak Realm and having absorbed the metal energy of the devil, I Water Lily, Bai Shishi's metal energy had gone through a huge transformation. She was just barely capable of controlling the golden sword's power without experiencing a backlash. This golden sword came from the ghost ship. Its origins were unclear, and it possessed terrifying power. With it, Bai Shishi could unleash her full potential. Just now, her attack was so powerful that even Long Chen was amazed. The current Bai Shishi was truly terrifying. Bai Shishi had killed three immortal kings with one attack. As a result, the other experts of the Bloodkill Hall were left dumbfounded. Just as they were hesitating about whether or not they should run, Space Twisted and Bai Ziol appeared behind them with everyone else. Caught off guard, those divine lords quickly collapsed. Navalum, come run. There's no need for any meaningless sacrifices. The great killing god will definitely punish these sinners. People began to turn tail and run. Long Chen, just wait. You've blasphemed the killing god. You won't have a good death. Even as they cursed, the Bloodkill Hall's experts fled for their lives. Kin Feng and the others chased them down, picking out the experts to kill. But quite a few small fries managed to escape. 
If I had known that they were this week, I wouldn't have needed Zyol's help. I would have directly attacked them. By she, she slowly put away her sword. She felt like her powerful attack had landed on Cotton. Those immortal kings of the Bloodkill Hall were weaker than she had expected. By Zyol had used his spatial power to hide her within the void, just so that she could launch a lethal blow. But as a result, those immortal kings didn't manage to resist at all. It felt like the battle was over before it even began. If I had known that you were so strong, I wouldn't have cut off Imputa's head. I'd have just let you kill him. Long Chen shrugged a bit helplessly. The reason Long Chen had immediately destroyed the statue was partially to prevent Imputa's clone from descending. The other reason was because the Bloodkill Hall's experts relied on the faith energy inside the statue to strengthen themselves. At that time, their combat power would rise a startling amount. If they really were pushed to the point of no return and were willing to take on serious consequences, immortal kings at the mortal tier could even temporarily unleash the power of the spirit tier. In the worst-case scenario, there would even be a spirit tier immortal king here. If such an existence was also boosted by the power of the divine statue, Long Chen and the others would have trouble fighting them. After the battle with the Devil Eye Water Lily, Long Chen didn't want to be so careless again. As a result, he had ended up greatly overestimating the Bloodkill Hall's power here. Assassins of the Bloodkill Hall can only unleash their power in a sneak attack. In a direct battle, their tricks are meaningless. Kin Feng indifferently wiped the fresh blood off of his weapon, seemingly wanting to continue fighting. After all, an assassin was an assassin. They always prepared themselves before attacking. So, for someone to attack them, they were thrown into chaos. It was completely different from the fearless assassins that people imagined. Without the protection of the Grand Formation, the Sea of Flames caused the palace to crumble. This once flourishing location became ruins. Boss San is mighty. Just as I said, a figure like you, a hero that stands at the peak of all heroes, couldn't possibly be an underworld ghost seed. Unexpectedly, the people that he had brought with him to lead the way had yet to flee. They had actually run back, singing his praises. The truth was that these people were terrified when leading the way for Long Chen. If the Bloodkill Hall were to learn that they had led Long Chen here, they would definitely be executed. But if they didn't bring Long Chen here, they would have died instead. So they could only come. Seeing that Long Chen and the others were actually so strong that they instantly destroyed the Bloodkill Hall, these people directly ran back to suck up. The Bloodkill Hall's experts had died, so why not see if they could dredge up some benefits? Not bad. You have some guts. Fine, I'll leave the treasury of the Bloodkill Hall to you to search through. But you also have to accomplish a mission for me. Take this head and find a place to use it as a dung pit. Have people fill it with their excrement. Then you can conceal your identity and run to a different domain, living a carefree life. Long Chen tossed Impudus head to them. Those people were delighted. They had originally been thinking of leaving the Heavenly Rainbow Domain after dredging up some benefits from Long Chen, but he was actually giving them all the spoils of this battle. They had never obtained such a huge benefit before. After leaving the head to them, Long Chen directly left. Those people hastily went through the treasury and then ran. However, they truly did follow his command. They accomplished Long Chen's mission, resulting in the Bloodkill Hall no longer being able to establish a divine faith lake here. Of course, that was something for the future. After destroying this branch of the Bloodkill Hall, Long Chen left behind a line. Boss Long San was here. He then directly left to the core of the immortal fairy prefecture. At this time, countless experts had flocked here. They stared in shock, as Long Chen's group came from the direction of the Blood Hill Hall. That person seems to be. People stared at Long Chen in disbelief. They clearly recognized him. 
Chapter 3306 The Heavenly Rainbow Fairy The Plaza was filled with rainbow divine light. The huge statue was glorious and splendid. She wore a rainbow dress, and her black hair fell to her waist. Moreover, divine light flickered in her eyes. Those eyes were made of the finest gemstones. This was the peerless heavenly rainbow fairy, the transformation of a matured heavenly rainbow flame that had cultivated to maturity on its own. Although it was only ranked ninth, her name was something that had left an even deeper impression than other heavenly flames. Long Chen and the others were holding fresh flowers and were in a line to offer them to the heavenly rainbow fairy. The flowers didn't need to be bought with money. As long as someone sincerely wished to offer their respects, they would be given these flowers. The ones providing them were very courteous and didn't even look at a person's status, position, or cultivation base. As long as they came sincerely, they were allowed to line up. There were too many people wishing to offer their respects here. Hence, Long Chen and the others could only line up and it took half a day for them to reach their current spot in line. Some people were already getting impatient. Other than those from outside the domain, the original inhabitants of the domain had also come to offer worship. It was to express that they had not forgotten the sacrifices that the Heavenly Rainbow Fairy had made for the Heavenly Rainbow Domain. As for the huge surge of experts from outside the domain who had come in the past few days, almost every single one of them came to pay respects to the Heavenly Rainbow Fairy. It wasn't because they had such reverence for the Heavenly Rainbow Fairy, but because the Heavenly Rainbow Flame was said to be connected to her heroic spirit. Perhaps offering their respects would increase their odds of obtaining the Heavenly Rainbow Flame. Even if they were getting impatient, they had no choice but to endure. They couldn't express any dissatisfaction, because any disrespect to the Heavenly Rainbow Fairy would cause the entire Heavenly Rainbow Domain to hunt them down. If that happened, it didn't matter how strong that person was, they would have no chance of leaving the Heavenly Rainbow Domain alive. The Heavenly Rainbow Fairy saved the Heavenly Rainbow Domain by sacrificing herself. All people in the heavenly rainbow domain must be grateful to her. They must understand that everything that they have is thanks to the heavenly rainbow fairy's sacrifice. There aren't many people who could do such a thing. Just think about our own heavenly swell domain. Dean Tanlian also sacrificed his own life for the heavenly swell domain's peace, but people always forget about the past. They no longer remember those people that lost their lives to protect them. They even want to overthrow the name of the Heavenly Swell Domain, changing it back to the Dao Dawn Domain. Just thinking about it makes my heart turn cold. Ai Shi Shi sighed as she saw the endless line of people wanting to worship the Heavenly Rainbow Fairy. There were countless flowers and people constantly kowtowing toward the statue. Long Chen shook his head. People are forgetful, so they need reminders. Sometimes we shouldn't blame the heavenly swell domains people. It's our academy that didn't give any guidance. But as our academy declines, even if they try to guide the people, it would be useless because they no longer believe that the high firmament academy has that power. People always believe only in what they can see in front of them. They will always doubt what they haven't seen. Dismantling history books is what humans like to do the most. In our case, there are even people pushing the waves from behind to twist reality, so naturally people don't know who to believe. Not everyone has the ability to discern the truth from lies. You sound so at ease. The High Firmament Academy has done so much for the heavenly swell domain, but all we get in return is humiliation said by Shishi a bit angrily. Long Chen couldn't help smiling. If I'm not going to be at ease, then what am I supposed to do? Kill all the people who can't see the truth. Would Dean Tianlian want that? Then what do you think should be done about it? Demanded by Shishi. Seeing how grateful the people of the Heavenly Rainbow Domain 
were, it was practically the complete opposite of the heavenly swell domain. They were like a pack of wolves that bite the hand that feeds them. All over, they made things difficult for the high firmament academy. Foolish girl, you are only one disciple of the high firmament academy. Why bother considering things like this? This should be a problem for the dean. With the dean's wisdom, do you think he doesn't understand these things? He simply doesn't say anything. Just remember, deep water flows slowly. The more words a person says, the less ability that they have. Many times, talking is an instinct and not talking is wisdom. If you can't understand it, then just slowly try to imitate it. Perhaps you will understand by the time you reach the dean's age, said Long Chen, smiling. Long Chen also didn't quite know why the heavenly swell domain would end up like this. But he vaguely knew that this matter was not as simple as it appeared. Perhaps there were many things hidden behind this that weren't for others to know. Such a thing should be related to the silent war between the Academy and its opponents. The Academy naturally wouldn't expose such a thing to a disciple like Bai Shishi. Long Chen also didn't know, but he understood that the higher-ups of the Academy were definitely wily old foxes. Some things simply shouldn't be asked. Even if he asked, it would be meaningless. Furthermore, he vaguely felt that the various karma he had encountered in the lower plane were offshoots of some scheme in the immortal world. Now he was following them back up to the source. Perhaps he was gradually getting closer to the answer of this tangled and complicated mystery. Then he would be able to see the true face of the nine heavens and ten lands. The reason he still couldn't see them clearly was because his power wasn't strong enough. Without enough power, he couldn't stand tall enough to see further. Otherwise, if he tried to stand up high, the winds of the sky would buffet him and tear him apart. He knew what his path was. It was a bloody path of no return. Either he reached the peak, or he died on the way. There was no third option. Right now, while his status as a nine-star heir was not yet exposed, he should grow as fast as he could. He had to accumulate trump cards and find a chance to soar through the layers of mist. He would then see this world clearly. Sometimes, Long Chen felt very lonely. He knew many things, but he had no one to share those things with. His burdens were his own to carry. However, this pressure only stimulated him. It was what drove him toward the unknown future. You talk as if you're so much older than me, said Bai Shishi unhappily. You should be a bit bigger, said Long Chen. Bai Shishi really was a year older than him. But he also couldn't help sneaking a glance at Bai Shishi's chest when he said this. This phrase instantly became ambiguous. Bai Shishi reddened. The two of them were whispering, so fortunately others didn't hear. Bai Shishi then furiously reached out and viciously pinched Long Chen's waist. Long Chen clenched his teeth in pain, but didn't make a sound. It wouldn't be good if others were to think that he was flirting with someone here. Seeing that he didn't dare to make a sound, Bai Shishi smiled, feeling very pleased. It could count as a win. Brat, are you Long Chen? What qualifications do you have to offer sacrifice to the great heavenly rainbow fairy? Just as Long Chen and Bai Shishi were talking, someone walked in front of Long Chen, glaring at him coldly. This person was half a head taller than Long Chen and very well built. His blood kai might be meticulously concealed, but he still gave off a heavy pressure. He was definitely a very powerful existence. His cultivation base had reached the seventh heaven stage of the Four Peak Realm, and he came up to Long Chen with plenty of hostility. Long Chen immediately slapped him. Ah, it was refreshing to unleash the irritation at being pinched by Bai Shishi. Bastard, you dare to blaspheme the heavenly rainbow fairy. I'll go all out against you. Long Chen suddenly grabbed the person's hair and slammed the head into his knee. Bai Shishi jumped in shock, not expecting Long Chen to dare 
to attack someone here. Favorite. Chapter 3000. 307 utmost righteousness, Long Chen's knee smashed into that person's face, and a crunching noise rang out, filling the plaza. That person let out a painful grunt, his face covered in blood and caving in. But Long Chen still didn't let him off. Still holding his hair, Long Chen repeatedly struck him with his knee. He tried to escape, but Long Chen didn't give him any chance. After Long Chen was done hitting this person with his knee, he finished off with some slaps. Those smacks resounded throughout the plaza clearly, making Bai Shishi's expression change. It was forbidden to use martial might in this place, so no one dared to fight here. Otherwise, they would be viewed as the enemy of the entire heavenly rainbow domain. The immortal fairy plaza was a sacred place that could not be blasphemed. For Long Chen, to attack in a place like this instantly stunned everyone. Isn't that the Seven Sea Domains Yang Zikong? He's being beaten up. Yang Zikong is definitely trash and his petty nature is infamous. But he's still one of the Seven Sea Domains' peak heavenly geniuses. With that power and background, no one has dared to provoke him. Who would have thought that someone would be beating him up here? Who is that black-robed fellow? He probably doesn't know who Yang Zikong is, or he definitely wouldn't dare to do this. That black-robed fellow. Heavens, isn't that Long Chen that has been causing an uproar lately? Long Chen. Hearing his name, everyone was shaken. The fact that Long Chen had gone to the Yuhu Palace and slain their top genius, Jiang Bei, exposing the fact that the latter was an underworld ghost seed, had caused huge waves. That was partially due to the profound terror people felt toward underworld ghost seeds, and also because Jiang Bei had been one of the top geniuses of the heavenly star domain. For Long Chen to have gone to his sect and killed him, no one could question his power. Afterward, a rumor that Long Chen was very likely an underworld ghost seed as well spread. True experts didn't really believe in random rumors, but in any case, Long Chen's name was firmly imprinted in their minds now. After a detailed investigation, they learned that Long Chen was actually an ascender with no background to rely on. Using his own power, he had joined his sect as a worker and still managed to reach his current level, becoming the dual champion of the Heavenly Swell Domain's Nine Prefecture Convention. People were very curious whether or not a lower plane ascender could really be so powerful. However, now that they saw Long Chen beating up Yang Zikong like some ruffian, the lack of any air of an expert made them question whether he really was such a powerful expert. After gaining this opportunity, Long Chen didn't let go of the initiative, and his opponent couldn't even manage to get away. As he beat him up, he shouted, You bastard! How dare you say such disgraceful words in front of the heavenly rainbow fairy! You've blasphemed the fairy! Even ten thousand deaths aren't enough to wash away your sins! Stop! The disturbance here had alarmed the immortal king's standing guard over this place. Hence, six immortal kings descended at the same time. They were all infuriated, looking as if they wanted to directly kill Long Chen and Yang Zikong. They were the loyal protectors of the heavenly rainbow fairy. Anyone who dared to show any disrespect to her would not be treated with any courtesy from them. Six immortal kings had descended at once, and their immense pressure shook people's souls. These experts didn't even dare to move. I won't stop. This person has blasphemed the heavenly rainbow fairy. I cannot tolerate such a thing. The heavenly rainbow fairy sacrificed her precious life for the survival of the human race, and her holiness cannot be blasphemed. If I didn't want to dirty this holy land, I would slaughter this bastard right now. But even if I can't kill him, I must turn him into a meat cake so that he remembers this lesson and tells others that the heavenly rainbow fairy cannot be blasphemed. If you feel that I'm going too far, you can kill me as well. 
to be able to bring down a blasphemer of the heavenly rainbow fairy with me i could die with no regrets long chen cried out righteously even in the face of these immortal kings he didn't stop striking yang zikong long chen then reached out and pressed a finger against yang zikong's by huey acupuncture point that was a fatal weak spot no different from the space between one's eyebrows as long as long chen unleashed his divine energy here yang zikong would definitely die yang zikong had never dreamed that long chen would dare to attack him and even press down on such a threatening spot he was unable to unleash any of his abilities long chen's righteous air and fervent desire for justice left those six immortal kings dumbfounded no matter how furious they were they wouldn't kill someone who was respecting the heavenly rainbow fairy however long chen had struck someone in this place a place where fighting was forbidden what about propriety it was damaging to the heavenly rainbow fairy's dignity young friend let's take a step back now and talk even if he did act wrongly you cannot be said to be right in beating him here furthermore beating someone like this is also a poor act give this old man some face right and wrong can be discussed impartially said one of the immortal kings only then did long chen indignantly stop it was unknown if it was fake or if he was really angry but his body was quivering bai shi shi almost laughed this fellow's acting skills were truly amazing this was clearly the result of him not having anywhere to vent his anger at being pinched by her so he was using yang zikong to vent but he even put on such an aggrieved and indignant appearance Dai. as soon as long chan released yang zikong and the latter regained his freedom yang zikong instinctively took out his weapon and attacked long chen as a result just as he took out his weapon an immortal king pressed a hand against his shoulder he became unable to even move an inch how brazen you dare to use a weapon in front of the heavenly rainbow fairy it was forbidden to reveal weapons in front of the heavenly rainbow fairy's statue this was known to all within the heavenly rainbow domain no one in this domain could accept such a thing as for yang zikong after being beaten by long chen his head was completely muddled and his senses were in chaos he wasn't even aware of the descent of the immortal kings as for long chen he seemed to have expected this and he immediately jumped out and slapped him in the face again considering that yang zikong couldn't even move there was no way he could dodge well he wouldn't have been able to dodge even if he could move this slap then knocked him unconscious it was unknown if it was from the slap or from the bottled up rage just look this fellow doesn't have the slightest respect or gratitude for the heavenly rainbow fairy when it comes to such a person how can you not beat him up declared long chen righteously bring this fellow away whether he lives or not will be up to his own fortune said one of the immortal kings angrily someone immediately came up and dragged away the unconscious yang zikong after yang zikong was brought away the six immortal kings turned to long chen their expressions were not all that friendly chapter three thousand three hundred eight khan as soon as these immortal kings looked at him long chen knew that they were going to declare his sins so he didn't even give them a chance to speak he directly said i admit that i went a bit too far this time but i don't regret it this fellow cut in line which is already disrespectful to the heavenly rainbow fairy he then challenged me another blasphemy he even said that i was not qualified to offer my respects to the heavenly rainbow fairy that was what made me break the heavenly rainbow fairy did not just protect the people of the heavenly rainbow domain but all the human race all humans must respect her and be grateful to her i beat him today to tell everyone that the heavenly rainbow fairy is not just the protector of the heavenly rainbow domain but all of humankind 
it is precisely because there was a protector like the heavenly rainbow fairy that was willing to sacrifice her own life without hesitation that our human race has continued to survive it was the sacrifice of such a grand figure that led to our human race no longer being treated as the bottom of the food chain our current era of peace was won through the sacrifice of her blood and life heroes are not differentiated by domain by sex or by origin the heavenly rainbow fairy does not belong to just the heavenly rainbow domain but to all humans seniors tell me am i qualified to offer sacrifice to the heavenly rainbow fairy well said the heavenly rainbow fairy's benevolence should be firmly remembered by all people heroes are not differentiated by domain as soon as long chen said this countless people agreed with him they were all the natives of the heavenly rainbow domain so they all felt immense gratitude toward the heavenly rainbow fairy she was their belief hence they all had a good first impression of long chen when they saw him treat the heavenly rainbow fairy with such respect for him to go all out to protect her dignity they began to speak up in support of him long chen then cupped his fists toward them to express his thanks he continued I don't mind enduring whatever punishment seniors wish to give me. I, Long Chen, will accept. As long as I can protect a hero's dignity, even if I am reduced to the wickedest of the wicked and must carry the name of infamy, who cares? I tapped today to tell certain people that if they come out to this domain, they shouldn't be too arrogant. They have to remember to be respectful and grateful. Otherwise, Others will make them pay the blood price. Bastards like this must be taught a lesson. We support you. A shout came from the crowd. This one shout resulted in countless others shouting their agreement as well. Long Chen was unleashing an air of utmost righteousness, but when he heard that shout, it almost broke his farce. That was actually Caillou shouting from amongst the crowd. His timing was perfect. The native experts all supported Long Chen. In their opinion, as long as someone revered the heavenly rainbow fairy, they were a friend. Those who dared to blaspheme the heavenly rainbow fairy were all enemies. So, they naturally supported Long Chen. As for the experts that had come from outside the domain, they exchanged glances, a bit stupefied. Long Chen's excuse was a bit too forced, was it not? Yang Zikong had merely provoked him with a single sentence, and he gave him such a violent beating. Frankly, both of them were in the wrong, and Long Chen's sin was clearly greater than Yang Zikong's. But, based on the current state, Long Chen had somehow become the upholder of righteousness, an incarnation of chivalry, a hero for the common people those immortal kings were also dumbfounded just who were they could long chen's little tricks escape their observation it was clearly long chen who had gone too far this time however long chen didn't even give them a chance to speak before managing to pull in a huge group of supporters with so many people supporting him how could they possibly cause trouble for long chen if they really did punish Long Chen, it would give the feeling of repaying kindness with enmity. It would definitely draw the dissatisfaction of the native people. You are Long Chen, the one from the High Firmament Academy, asked one of the immortal kings suddenly. That's right. This untalented one is the dean of the High Firmament Academy's seventh branch, Long Chen. I greet seniors. Long Chen cupped his fists toward them. People had recognized Long Chen, but this was a giant plaza where shouting was forbidden, so only a few people had actually guessed his origin and told the people around them. The rest were still in the dark. Now that Long Chen reported his origin, it caused an uproar here. So this was the person that had been the recent topic of discussion. The person at the center of all those rumors was actually this black-robed youngster. With Long Chen cupping his fists toward them, those six immortal kings hastily returned the courtesy. So the dean of a branch of the High Firmament Academy has come. How rude of us! 
Although Long Chen's cultivation base was not high enough, his status as a dean of the High Firmament Academy was something that even they couldn't be rude toward. They needed to treat him as an equal, as that was the most basic etiquette. If they didn't, it would not only show that they hadn't been raised right, but it would also be as if they were looking down on the High Firmament Academy. It had to be known that the High Firmament Academy was the oldest academy in the immortal world. With such a long inheritance, although it had declined, no one could underestimate them. Dean Long Chen, if you wish to offer sacrifice to the Great Fairy, you could have simply told us in advance. Sect leaders have their own path, said one of the immortal kings. Since sect leaders were all so busy, they didn't have time to line up to offer sacrifice to the heavenly rainbow fairy. Furthermore, it was not suitable for someone of that status to stand in line. Thus, such figures had a special passage to the statue. They could directly go there without lining up. However, Long Chen shook his head. In front of the heavenly rainbow fairy's eyes, all people are equal. When she protected us, it was not based on power or weakness, so we should not separate ourselves like that when offering sacrifice to her. Since I admire the heavenly rainbow fairy, I naturally will not be afraid of some time spent in line. Hearing his words, those immortal kings were moved. One of them sighed, as expected of the dual champion of the Nine Prefecture Convention and the High Firmament Academy's youngest heaven master instructor in all of history, as well as the youngest dean. We are ashamed. You are correct. All people are equal in front of the heavenly rainbow fairy. Thus, no one should be given special treatment. We will consider whether or not we should remove this path. It seems that it really is against the heavenly rainbow fairy's intentions. This immortal king was clearly touched by Long Chen's words. He greatly admired Long Chen's wisdom and heart. It wasn't just the immortal kings that were moved. There were countless experts, especially the native ones that looked at Long Chen with admiration. In their hearts, the heavenly rainbow fairy was supreme. Status, cultivation, base? They were all nothing in front of her. Long Chen's words had touched their hearts. Bai Shishi felt the most admiration for him of all. So many people had been conned by just a few words from Long Chen. Even the immortal kings were feeling admiration for him. She was fully convinced by his mouth. With that mouth, he could even convince dead people to come back to life even though he had just beaten up someone in front of the heavenly rainbow fairy it seemed that people had to be grateful to him just how is that possible your sanctimony means nothing by acting like this are you trying to cover something up just then a cold laugh rang out that voice was full of disdain and contempt as well as a naked provocation Chapter 3399 Underworld Hall by Ziol and the others were enraged. This person was intentionally causing trouble and smearing Long Chen's name. He was clearly implying that Long Chen was an underworld ghost seat putting on an act. Although he didn't say it explicitly, his meaning was understood by all. Looking for the source, they saw a cloaked man deep within the crowd. He had two strange weapons on his back, and a hood covering most of his face. His clothes were skin-tight, and on the cuffs was a single word embroidered with golden thread. Nine Underworld Hunter. People's hearts shook. This person was from the Nine Underworld Hall based on the Underworld character on his cuffs, and it was only when he spoke that people took note of him. Even the people beside him hadn't noticed him before. Just how was he able to hide within the crowd like this? It wasn't that he was actually hiding, but no one could notice him even when he was just standing there. The people around him immediately distanced themselves from him in a panic. Only once they were further away did they feel a bit safer. Nine underworld hunters were existences that struck terror in people's hearts. Although the rumors were that they only killed nine star heirs, they always came and vanished without a trace, without leaving even blood. 
Their killing methods were bizarre. Nine underworld hunters very rarely appeared in the immortal world. Contrary to the blood-kill hall, they were more mysterious. It was due to this air of mystery that people felt even more afraid of them. Long Chen clenched his fists tightly, and his killing intent exploded. He instantly thought of the battle of the martial heaven continent's destruction. He thought of his seniors and brothers that had sacrificed themselves. At the same time, a hatred that stemmed from deep within Long Chen's soul erupted. This person was infected with the blood of the Nine Star Heirs. Long Chen could sense it. As a fellow Nine Star Heir, he could feel the fury of the Nine Star Heirs that this person had slain. He could hear their unwilling roars in death. Moreover, he even felt vague scenes of their deaths appearing in his mind. Long Chen's gaze instantly became frosty, and the auspicious light of the plaza suddenly twisted. At the next moment, the heavens changed color, lightning boomed in the sky, and clouds covered up the sun. Long Chen's killing intent had actually invoked a manifestation of the heavenly downs. Countless people were shocked by this. They had never seen such a terrifying manifestation. Those six immortal kings were also shocked. Long Chen's killing intent was too terrifying, to the extent that even the heavenly downs were yielding. Such a scene was something that they could not comprehend. But, after mentioning your sore spot, you turn hostile and want to kill the speaker. The Nine Underworld Hunter only smiled faintly in the face of Long Chen's overflowing killing intent. He spoke so disdainfully as if he didn't even consider Long Chen to be worthy of entering his gaze. It is forbidden to provoke others in front of the heavenly rainbow fairy, shouted one of the immortal kings. They could also see that Long Chen had reached the limit of his control, and this fellow was intentionally fanning the flames. As for Bai Shishi, she was clenching her sword hilt, ready to attack at any moment. The moment she clenched it, even the immortal kings felt a chill. They had to stop this. Dean Long Chen, for you have such accomplishments at such a young age, some unhappy people will naturally try to denounce you. The greater the accomplishments, the more petty people will dislike you. You have to get used to people spreading rumors about you, said one of the immortal kings. His words were quite well said. Only mediocre people wouldn't have anyone jealous of them. So, he not only praised Long Chen, but also expressed his support for him. It was clear that he did not believe those rumors. Regretfully, Long Chen couldn't even hear his words. All that was in his head was the roars of the nine star heirs that this person had slain. He didn't know those nine star heirs personally, but they were fellow nine star heirs. He could feel them being killed. It was the same as if he was dying over and over again. It was infuriating. Perhaps this is fate. As a nine star heir, I must carry this burden. Long Chen gradually recovered from his rage, and that overwhelming killing intent was also slowly retracted. Seeing that, Bai Shishi and the others also retracted their auras. The immortal kings sighed with relief. Only now did they come to understand just how terrifying Long Chen was. To be given the title of dual champion, it seemed that it was not just all empty talk. When the killing intent faded, the rainbow light once more covered the plaza. People's hearts shook. Only now did they realize that Long Chen's killing intent had eclipsed the heavenly rainbow fairy's auspicious light. It had to be known that the heavenly rainbow fairy was the faith of the entire heavenly rainbow domain. So this auspicious light contained an unimaginable amount of faith energy. According to reason, it should be impossible to break. But Long Chen's killing intent had eclipsed it. So you're just trying to scare others? What a dog should deem. A dog barking at others, backed only by the empty title of its master, sneered the Nine Underworld Hunter. Even the immortal king's expressions changed. This person was truly hateful. However, Long Chen flapped his hand at them, stopping them from doing anything. 
He said, he came for me, so I don't want to trouble seniors. Turning to the nine underworld hunter, he said, I just destroyed the heavenly rainbow domain's blood kill hall. I have nothing else to do during this time, so why don't you tell me where your nine underworld hall is? I'll go over, and we can all get closer. Killing a single nine underworld hunter was not enough to extinguish the rage in his heart. He wanted to pull the nine underworld hall out by its roots. He would avenge all those nine star heirs. At this moment, the name of the nine underworld hall had appeared on his list of undying enmities. What it? Even the immortal kings jumped when they heard this. They didn't dare to believe it. The bloodkill hall in their domain had been destroyed. This plaza was covered by the auspicious light of the heavenly rainbow fairy, so everyone's communication talismans lost effect within this area. Since that was the case, the people here were unaware of what happened outside, and a huge uproar erupted when Long Chen mentioned this. People were left questioning whether it was true or not. Are you threatening me? Ah! Oh. The nine underworld hunter laughed as if he had heard the world's funniest joke. Do you think that the nine underworld hall is the same as the trash from the bloodkill hall? The nine underworld hunters turned it nine star heirs. Those are existences whose power shakes the heavens. But they are still prey to us. The bloodkill hall's bloodkill order is unable to deal with you, so naturally your head will be taken by the nine underworld hall. As for being an underworld ghost seed, when you die I'll see just how you hide yourself at that time. The nine underworld hunter suddenly grew transparent and faded just like that. There were no spatial energy fluctuations. This was no transportation. He simply vanished. Seeing this scene, even immortal kings felt a chill. This person's terror far surpassed their expectations. God Dao Incarnation? Interesting. Good, I'll add the Nine Underworld Hall to my recipe book. Long Chen smiled slightly. There was actually a vaguely excited light deep within his eyes. It seemed that slaughter was what the deepest part of his soul liked. Chapter 3310 Heavenly Rainbow appears after the Nine Underworld Hunter vanished by Ziol, and the others clenched their teeth furiously. This bastard was truly malicious. His final sentence in particular, saying that Long Chen would only be exposed when he was forced to the brink of death, was clearly labeling him as an underworld ghost seed. As a result, anyone who found Long Chen unpleasant now had a righteous excuse to attack him. They would be warriors of justice. This was absolutely shameless. He should bless his luck that this is the fairy plaza. Otherwise, he definitely wouldn't leave here alive, said Bai Shishi darkly. As the High Firmament Academy's heavenly fairy, she had never suffered such an insult. Although it was targeted toward Long Chen, it was still unacceptable. It's nothing more than a god Dao incarnation. It's not even a clone. Even if you killed it, it would be meaningless. Long Chen shook his head and smiled. You can still smile? Seeing that Long Chen was still able to smile after unleashing such overwhelming killing intent, Bai Shishi was speechless. Isn't gaining an enemy something to rejoice about? Without them, I'd be very poor. As for rumors, it doesn't matter. Just like what this senior said, the higher you want to climb, the more resistance you will face. In cultivation, there's no need to talk reason. I am not as grand as the heavenly rainbow fairy, nor do I have the heart that bemoans the state of the universe and pities the fate of mankind. For anyone who blocks my path, there is only one response. Kill. Long Chen didn't know what illness he had contracted, but having more enemies actually made him more excited. A fiery, warlike blood ignited within him. Di Long Chen, please, there's no need to call us seniors. With your status and learning, you can treat us with equal seniority, said one of the immortal kings very curiously. The killing intent that Long Chen had just released almost made them collapse. 
Furthermore, he said that he had destroyed the Bloodkill Hall in the Heavenly Rainbow Domain. They didn't dare to believe it. Yet they also felt that Long Chen wouldn't bother lying about such a thing. They no longer dared to view Long Chen as an ordinary Four Peak disciple. Furthermore, he represented the High Firmament Academy. I came here today under the status of an ordinary member of the human race in order to pay my respects to the Heavenly Rainbow Fairy. According to age, hierarchy, and cultivation accomplishment, you truly are my seniors. I've also brought trouble for you due to my arrival. I hope that you won't blame me, said Long Chen with a smile. How can you say such a thing? How about we arrange for you to offer your flowers right now? Probed one of the immortal kings. They were afraid that Long Chen would cause more trouble here. What if someone else provoked Long Chen and he killed them? Then they would be caught in an awkward position. Long Chen shook his head. All people are equal in front of the heavenly rainbow fairy. I, Long Chen, do not believe myself to be special. Seniors, please go back to your regular work. As long as no one else here goes too far, I won't make things hard on you. These immortal kings knew that Long Chen had finished venting his anger. Theoretically, there really should be no problem. But just what were they supposed to do if someone came and provoked him? Helplessly, the six of them left. They let a group of other experts accompany Long Chen. Bluntly speaking, those people were to prevent others from provoking Long Chen. The plaza settled back down. However, now there was a new respect in people's eyes when they looked at Long Chen. Suddenly, someone walked toward Long Chen. Quite a few people jumped, thinking that someone was targeting Long Chen once more. Even those experts left behind by the immortal kings twitched. They were about to reprimand this person when the latter said, Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we have seven brothers who came to pay respects to the heavenly rainbow fairy. It will soon be our turn. However, we greatly admire you, and your time is precious. We are willing to give you our place so that you can offer your sacrifice first. We brothers have nothing else to do, so we'll go back to the back of the line. When they heard this, everyone sighed with relief. Long Chen was also surprised. Then many thanks, brother. As a result of this, Long Chen saved quite a bit of time. He took out a case. I'd ask brother to not mind this small regard. Long Chen didn't like to accept favors from others for no good reason. So, he gave this person a treasure pill. However, that person's expression sank. He coldly said, Although we brothers might not come from riches, riches do not make a man. Brother, are you looking down on us? Feeling startled, Long Chen took back the case and smiled. That was rude of me. I apologize. I'll remember this favor. Hearing Long Chen say this, this person smiled and left, going to the back of the line with his group. Long Chen and the others took their place. They were right at the front of the line now. At this distance, Long Chen's arm tingled and Hu Lingner manifested beside him. Big brother, I like this big sister. I can feel a familiarity with her. It's like I'm seeing my family. Hu Lingner ran out even stopping her absorption of the fire lily seed. She held Long Chen's hand and gazed up at the heavenly rainbow fairy's statue. Huo Linger's sudden appearance made by Shishi and the others jump. They had no idea of her existence. Normally, Huo Linger only came out in flame form, so they didn't recognize her. Of course, you feel close to her. Just like you, she is a spirit of fire. You are both embodiments of flames. Long Chen gently rubbed her head. Unfortunately, Big Sister isn't here. There is only a trace of her soul left in the statue. I feel sad. Tears actually appeared in Hua Linger's ears. They dripped down, becoming clumps of flame runes that fell to the ground. They didn't ignite the ground when they fell. Instead, they were absorbed by it. 
Wang Chen didn't know how to comfort Huo Linger. As she grew stronger, she gained her own intelligence and her own emotions. It was her first time seeing someone just like her, but all she was seeing was a statue. It was like seeing a corpse. That pain wasn't something outsiders could comprehend. Hey, don't cry. We came to offer sacrifices to Big Sister. She'll definitely bless us. Long Chen pulled the sobbing Huel Linger forward slowly. He then placed the fresh flowers in his hand at her feet. After putting down his flowers, Long Chen slowly looked up. He stared into the heavenly rainbow fairy's eyes. At that moment, rainbow light appeared in her eyes, and Long Chen felt the world become quiet. Everyone within the Grand Plaza had faded away. Only Long Chen and Huo Linger remained in front of the statue. Just as he was shocked, divine light condensed into the form of a beautiful woman in rainbow-colored robes. Heavenly Rainbow Fairy! Long Chen couldn't help being shocked when he saw her. The Heavenly Rainbow Fairy had actually manifested in front of him. Chapter 3311 Terrifying Battle the heavenly rainbow fairy was transcendent and unmatched. Her eyes were like rainbow gemstones capable of seeing through all the secrets within heaven and earth. When she condensed in front of him, it was as if she had come from the distant past, yet also as if she had returned from far off in the future. Her beautiful eye stared at Long Chen with a hint of surprise. Utmost good and utmost evil mixed together. Will you bring about this world's destruction? Or rebirth? The heavenly rainbow fairy seemed to be asking him, yet also seemed to be talking to herself. For a moment, Long Chen didn't know how to respond. After that, she ignored him. She knelt down and reached out to rub Huo Linger's cheek, wiping away her tears. You were born because of him. You devoured the powers of countless flames to grow. I hope that you do not become a second Yan Zhu that brings calamity upon the immortal world. Long Chen's heart shook. For some reason, hearing the name Yan Zhu alarmed him. He had never heard this name before, and yet it seemed that some far-off distant memory tried to reach him. However, he was unable to recall it. Just the name alone was able to shake his heart. It was as if this name was forbidden, a taboo hiding some heaven-shaking matter. Big sister, we're not bad people. We won't do bad things, said Huo Linger. Her pure and clear eyes contained a pure light. The heavenly rainbow fairy-eyed Long Chen. I hope that is the case. I am here waiting for the new master of the heavenly rainbow flame to appear. I thought that it would be you too, but when I saw you, fate became muddled, the future unclear. I have a feeling that you are not the next master of the heavenly rainbow flame. But even then, you should have immense karma between you. At this moment, the heavenly rainbow fairy's expression grew solemn. She looked into Long Chen's eyes. You are the first person I am unable to see through. I feel both close to you and afraid of you. I don't know why the High Firmament Academy would accept you, but I trust in the vision of that old senior. So I have decided to show you some secrets. However, if you see these secrets, you will be touched by their karma. Whether it's a blessing or a disaster, no one can say. Do you still want to see them? Long Chen was shocked. For some reason, he felt a chill run over him. He felt that whatever the heavenly rainbow fairy wanted to show him was extraordinary. He had never sensed such pressure. It was like an entire star was crushing him. He felt like he would be crushed. Please, big sister. Long Chen nodded. No matter how difficult the path was, he had to walk it to the end. There was no retreat for him. All right. The heavenly rainbow fairy nodded with a slight smile. That smile contained the slightest hint of praise. As she vanished, Long Chen felt space shrink. He and Hua Linger began to rise higher and higher. The huge heavenly rainbow statue then faded into a pinpoint, and Long Chen was floating high in the void. He saw more and more as he rose. 
he saw countless stars which spun in the air like grains of sand. Long Chen's world was just one of the stars in this cluster of stars. That wasn't it, though. He continued to rise higher and higher, and the star cluster also shrank until it was smaller and smaller. At that point, he saw a cloud of stars. It was a nebula that seemed to split this world in two. Is this the wall of ascension? Something that separates the mortal world from the immortal world? Long Chen stared at that nebula. It didn't matter how strong someone was, they wouldn't dare to break this wall. This was a portion of the laws of the cosmos. As a result of this, the divine inheritances found in the mortal world could only be transmitted with faith energy. As he found the starry sky shrinking, he suddenly noticed that other than his star cluster, there were other clusters as well. It had to be known that Long Chen's world was just a single one of the millions of stars in the cluster, but now there wasn't just one such cluster. These nine clusters surrounded one giant star. This one star was even bigger than any star cluster. Seeing this scene, Long Chen was stunned. A single star that was as big as millions of other stars? This image toppled his understanding of their cosmos. Seeing the nine star clusters surrounding one star, Long Chen suddenly recalled countless other diagrams. Was this not the same as those ancient carvings? Nine heavens, ten lands, nine star clusters as the nine heavens, and adding on that giant star, it becomes nine heavens plus a tenth land. Is that what the saying means? Long Chen was full of questions. He had heard the saying nine heavens and ten lands over and over again, but no one had ever explained the origin of these words. The world continued to shrink around him. He saw clouds of stars around the nine star clusters, but they were different from the clusters. They were scattered. These stars were like an ocean so vast that it was impossible to reach the end. Based on the current scene, Long Chen was standing within a vast ocean of stars. He felt incredibly minuscule, but the world continued to shrink, allowing him to see further and further. Suddenly, he saw a giant figure that made him jump. Just what was this gigantic form? In that instant, he suddenly thought of the mysterious dragon expert. It had once shown Long Chen this world as well, but the viewpoint had been different. Oh! Suddenly, his vision changed. He was standing above the nine star clusters before, but now he suddenly fell below them. He saw a different world. This was a world of darkness. The other side of the stars was a sinister darkness. It was a hellish world. Then Long Chen saw countless life forms flying from the dark worlds into the light worlds. Following that, the stars began to shatter, transforming into the dust of the cosmos. Long Chen even saw countless black spots invade that huge star surrounded by the nine clusters. Looking more closely at those black spots, he saw that they were actually terrifying life forms as large as the ordinary stars. They were crazily devouring that giant world. Furthermore, it seemed that there were experts fighting back in that world. Unfortunately, it was too far for Long Chen to see clearly. He only saw countless black spots invading. Following that, the scene once more changed. He saw a figure wielding a flame sword, fighting back countless terrifying life forms. That figure was the Heavenly Rainbow Fairy. She stood in the void, countless stars beneath her feet. When her sword slashed, it pierced the void, destroyed stars, and slew countless monsters. Their black blood flew, dyeing the world black. Their limbs shattered stars. The scene truly left Long Chen stunned. He had never seen such a terrifying battle. He had no idea what realm a heavenly rainbow fairy had reached nor what realm these life-forms had reached, but he knew that probably even world kings would be directly killed by some shockwaves of this battle. Just as the heavenly rainbow fairy was fighting off an endless tide of life-forms, 
a chain pierced the void, shattering stars. This chain contained a terrifying flame energy. The shattered stars then ignited, bursting like fireworks. It was destructive and beautiful. As a result, the heavenly rainbow fairy turned in the direction where the chain came from. Abandoning these life forms, she reached out her left hand to grab the chain. At the same time, the sword in her right hand transformed into a rainbow that fell in a certain place. Half of the heavenly rainbow fairy's body was destroyed by the chain attack. As for her rainbow sword, it tore through thousands of stars, shattering the void and revealing a large figure. That figure roared and fled, leaving behind an arm. That arm then transformed into a streak of light that ignited countless stars. Just then, those life forms took advantage of her injury to attack. What shocked Long Chen was that the heavenly rainbow fairy put away her sword and began to chant. When those words entered his ears, his heart pounded wildly. Nirvana Scripture Chapter 3312 Evil Flame Yan Zhu This was a part of the scripture that Long Chen had never heard before. But he knew that it was the Nirvana Scripture. He wondered what volume of the scripture it was. As the heavenly rainbow fairy chanted, countless stars lit up and flames ignited throughout the cosmos. A whole star field was burning. Standing within those flames, the heavenly rainbow fairy appeared sacred and holy. She suddenly spread her arms, and her rainbow flame exploded, devouring this place. Those terrifying life forms were instantly turned to ash. After that explosion, everything here vanished, including the heavenly rainbow fairy. After being sneak attacked by that terrifying expert, and having used her body to receive her opponent's attack in order to leave a heavy injury on them, she knew she no longer possessed the power to drive off so many enemies. Thus, she used the Nirvana scripture to kill all of them. As for herself, she also fell. The figure of the heavenly rainbow fairy slowly appeared in front of Long Chen again. He was pulled back from that space. It was like all of that was a dream. No, not a dream. A nightner. Who was that? Asked Long Chen. He was referring to that terrifying life form that had sneak attacked the heavenly rainbow fairy. He had only seen a vague figure. It was a person, but he hadn't seen their face. He is Yan Zhu. He calls himself the Flame Sovereign, and he is the most evil flame within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands, as well as the strongest flame of the current Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. He achieved his Tao years later than me. At that time, the two of us were relatively evenly matched. However, he relied on devouring other flames to cultivate. He even refined the blood bones, and souls of countless life forms as a Tao foundation for himself. If he was allowed to continue, he could very possibly destroy the entire immortal world. He is an evil seed of destruction born to devour and slaughter. I can sense that are on you as well, said the heavenly rainbow fairy. Long Chen shook his head. I don't feel like I am wrong. Some things should be destroyed. Then what? is the target of your destruction. What will you use to decide whether or not something should be destroyed? Rainbow light flowed within her eyes as she stared at Long Chen, seemingly seeing through him. Long Chen didn't avert his gaze. Looking right back into her bright eyes, he said, there is no criteria or yardstick. There is simply whether or not I like it or dislike it, and then I'll choose whether to support or destroy it. Perhaps my eyes can be blinded, but my heart will forever remain clear. I can permit others to have other opinions and viewpoints. No one is absolutely right or wrong. Right or wrong can only be decided through time. Hearing this response, the heavenly rainbow fairy slowly smiled. Your answer is satisfactory. If you could obtain the heavenly rainbow flame, perhaps I could feel more at ease. However, I cannot see your future. It will probably be very difficult for you to obtain the it. 
Big sister, aren't you the heavenly rainbow fairy? Since you acknowledge us, why not give me the heavenly rainbow flame? I will definitely inherit big sister's will and kill those bad people as vengeance for you, cried out Hyo Linger. The heavenly rainbow fairy smiled and squatted down. She rubbed Hyo Linger's cheek just like she was looking at her own little sister. She warmly said, Little sister, the heavenly rainbow flame's birth is a seed of destiny. If it falls in the hands of a good person, it will benefit all life. If it falls into the hands of a bad person, it will bring calamity upon the immortal world. Big Sister is a heavenly rainbow flame, a very special case with no master. I relied entirely on myself to cultivate. In my cultivation, I was helped by the kindness of the human race, and only then did I reach my current realm. That is why I used my life to protect the human race, to return this favor. My true body has long since been destroyed, so the human race's worship merely pulled back my discarnate soul. After they worshipped me for so many years, I gradually came to understand the human race's emotions. I also saw many things that I didn't see before and comprehended many principles that I hadn't. As they continued to worship me, I grew stronger bit by bit. This can also be considered a form of rebirth from death, an ability that transcends the laws of the heavenly Taoists. Amongst all the world's spirits, only the human race possesses such an ability. My discarnate soul is nourished here, opening an entirely new cultivation style. However, I cannot communicate with these people. Even the slightest thought from me, and they will be unable to endure that karma and will be destroyed. That is why they always say that the heavenly rainbow flame is connected to me, but I cannot explain the truth. I'm truly helpless. The heavenly rainbow flames are like humans. They can be good, and they can be bad. There can even be battles between heavenly rainbow flames. However, within the cycle of the heavenly Taoists, rarely do two heavenly rainbow flames descend upon the world at the same time. I have existed through the process of heavenly rainbow flames choosing masters several times, so I have personally witnessed them used by bad people. They were either destroyed by experts or devoured their masters, becoming flame devils that were ultimately destroyed by heavenly tribulation. The heavenly rainbow fairy's voice became sad, as if she had lost herself in distant memories. She continued, regretfully, through all of that, I can only wait and see. Every person's fate must be controlled by themselves. No one can change it. I have always been anticipating a seed of the heavenly rainbow flame to be taken by a good person and grow strong. Big sister, why can't you tell us where the heavenly rainbow flame is? When will it appear? Big brother Long Chen is very strong. We'll definitely get it. We won't let it fall into the hands of a bad person, declared Hua Linger. The heavenly rainbow fairy shook her head. This kind of fate would not benefit you at all if it was exposed. It would only make it harder for you to obtain the heavenly rainbow flame. So I cannot give you any help. I only came out to see you because I can sense some kind of calling from Long Chen's body. Furthermore, I also can't see the future of Long Chen. In other words, Long Chen will not be infected by my karma. I transmitted a portion of history for you to see. As for whether that is a blessing or disaster for the human race, I can't say. But I am willing to gamble on you. Long Chen's heart shook. That final sentence was something that he had heard many times in his lifetime. It didn't seem to be a good omen. It felt like he had been drawn into a storm. Furthermore, Long Chen's intuition also told him that there were many things that the heavenly rainbow fairy wasn't telling him. She'd only told him the part that she wished to tell him. For her to tell him this much, was it because of the Nirvana scripture? Then was she connected to the Pill Sovereign, Long Chen looked at her, wanting to ask about the Nirvana scripture. But looking into her eyes, he held himself back. If she was going to say it, 
she would have said it without asking. If she wasn't going to say it, then asking was meaningless. Long Chen, the birth of the heavenly rainbow flame, will draw over experts from outside the heaven. You should prepare yourself, said the heavenly rainbow fairy. Experts from outside the heaven? Long Chen was startled. What did that mean? Favorite. Chapter 3313 Darklight Heaven Through this conversation with the heavenly rainbow fairy, Long Chen found that he truly knew very little. The High Firmament Academy had so many ancient texts, but even Long Chen was not permitted to flip through the higher level ones. He didn't know why the Academy restricted them. You saw the nine star clusters. They are called the Nine Heavens, the nine great domains of the immortal world. This heaven that we live in is called the Dark Light Heaven. All those stars that you saw are worlds with their own life forms on them. However, after that ancient battle, the nine heavens and ten lands were reduced to the hundred domains and thousand prefectures. Some life forms went extinct, and other stars turned into the lands of death. Afterward, some stars revived, and some life forms returned to their old homes to continue propagating. Thus, the current term of the hundred domains and thousand prefectures isn't quite accurate. This time, the appearance of the heavenly flame rainbow has caused a phenomenon that even people from other heavens can see. Some of their best heavenly geniuses will very likely travel across the heavens' domains to reach here. Furthermore, the struggle for this flame is not limited to the human race. Thus, my greatest hope is that the human race can obtain the heavenly rainbow flame. But I have no confidence in whether or not this hope will become reality, said the heavenly rainbow fairy. Long Chen suddenly thought of Zai Kyankian. It seemed that back in hell, Zai Kyankian had asked him which heaven he was from. At that time, he was completely dumbfounded. Based on this, she was born within one of the nine heavens and not some simple lower plane ascender. Long Chen sighed inside. A single heaven was composed of millions of stars, as well as an ocean of stars around them. Also, every star had its own life forms. In that battle, all of that was destroyed, reduced to the hundred domains and thousand prefectures. Just how terrifying was that battle? Big sister, don't worry. We will do our best to take it. We won't let it fall into other people's hands said Hugh Linger confidently. The current her was in the midst of absorbing the devil I water lily's fire lily seed, so her power was growing explosively. It was already more than ten times greater than before. It would be best if the two of you could obtain it. Even if you can't, don't let it fall into the hands of other races, especially those that come from the dark worlds. It absolutely cannot fall into their hands, implored the heavenly rainbow fairy. There are life forms from the dark worlds, asked Long Chen. Behind the nine heavens are the dark worlds. They were the ones who incited the ancient battle, as well as the black hands that wished to topple this world. I can't say too much about them. Once you reach that realm, you will naturally know who they are. I only told you all this as a warning, to tell you what kind of enemies you are about to face. You must be mentally prepared. Amongst all these people, you have the greatest potential. Perhaps you can break the bindings of fate and create an unexpected conclusion, said the heavenly rainbow fairy. She had the ability to see the future, but she was unable to see Long Chen's. Furthermore, she was unable to sense the tie of destiny between Long Chen and the heavenly rainbow flame. That made her a bit disappointed. Despite that, she still hoped for him to create a miracle and keep the heavenly rainbow flame in the hands of the human race. If not, it would become a calamity. This time, the heavenly rainbow flame born of fate was incredibly powerful. Senior, don't worry. I will do my best said Long Chen. Just from how serious the heavenly rainbow fairy was acting, Long Chen could tell that this particular heavenly rainbow flame was definitely not ordinary. 
the implications were immense that was why the heavenly rainbow fairy was willing to say so much to him even without her warning with long chen's character all treasures were his anyone who tried to touch them they would be playing with their lives with a light sound long chen placed his fresh flowers on the ground all that had happened just now occurred in no more than the time it took for him to set down his flowers Bai Shishi hadn't sensed anything off. It was like nothing had happened at all. The statue was still a statue, but the heavenly rainbow fairy was gone. Long Chen then pulled Huo Linger over and bowed deeply toward the statue to express his thanks and respects to this senior. After that, people sent Long Chen and the others off. Only once they were gone did those people sigh in relief as if relieved of a heavy burden. Just now, they had confirmed that the Bloodkill Hall was destroyed, and there were burnt corpses littering that area. The corpses that could remain intact were at least divine lords. There was no way to count how many four peak disciples and below had been killed. They even found the charred remains of three immortal kings, and in Puda's divine statue had its head cut off. The glorious Bloodkill Hall had been turned to ruins people didn't dare to believe their eyes when they confirmed this news no one dared to question long chen's words any longer with this one thunderous move long chen shook countless people outside at the plaza experts from the heavenly rainbow domain arranged the best residence for long chen and the others they even provided guards attendants carriages etc long chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry the heavenly rainbow domain was doing all this for him just in hopes that he would give them face and not start a fight in the heavenly rainbow domain. Clearly, these experts had investigated him and knew his temper. Perhaps even information from the vile dragon domain had reached this place. Long Chen was someone who didn't even place a world's king in his eyes. There was nothing that he didn't dare do. Rules they existed in name only to him. The heavenly rainbow domain's experts felt a headache just from him being here. How did a living Yama king come to their home? They all hoped that Long Chen would rest quietly in the heavenly rainbow domain until the heavenly rainbow flame appeared. Then he could go out and kill as much as he wanted. But inside the city, he would hopefully give them some face and not mess around. Bai Shishi smiled and secretly whispered, being ruthless really is nice. Everything's going smoothly. No, my ruthlessness is all just an act. In truth, I'm a very pure, kind-hearted person, said Long Chen righteously. Only a ghost would believe you, laughed Bai Shishi. No, I don't believe it. Just then, a voice rang out in Long Chen and the other's ears. As a result, their hair stood on end. Someone had snuck up on them without them being aware. When they turned, though, they didn't see anyone. When their divine sense spread, they didn't sense anyone. They instantly felt a cold breeze on the back of their necks. Just now, that had clearly sensed a certain unforgettable aura. That aura was something that they would never be able to forget in this lifetime. It was the aura of the ghost ship. Ghost Bai Ziol was green with terror. Did a ghost from the ghost ship follow us? Chapter 3314 A new pleasant surprise even on the streets. They felt a sinister wind blowing past them. It was like someone was blowing cold air on the back of their necks. Hence, their hair stood on end, and the world seemed to have turned dark. Long Chen looked in a certain direction divine light flickering in his eyes. After a bit, he said, it left. You saw it? Bai Shishi and the others cried out. Long Chen shook his head. I can't see it, but I can sense it. Even Long Chen was unable to see it. That made people feel even more uneasy. An enemy that they couldn't see was the most frightening. What was it? Asked Bai Shishi, her voice quivering. I haven't seen a life form like that either. It has no shape or form, no color or smell. 
it's as if it's fully merged into heaven and earth making it impossible to sense most likely it only randomly answered you when it heard our conversation what did i say to draw it out asked by shi shi tensin she was so nervous that she forgot what she had said you said only a ghost would believe him said by Xiao. was it really a ghost everyone shivered they looked at long chen there's no need to be so afraid the ghost dao is one of the six daos we still know far too little about them some people like to use the ghost dao to scare others drawing out their terror it's just to teach them what respect is whatever it was it didn't express any hostility toward us if it had wanted to kill us i would have sensed it said long chen long chen suddenly thought of the mortal world he had encountered life forms of the ghost dao there as well he had even used money to bribe them and make them lead him to where he wanted however just now he had also jumped that voice had appeared out of nowhere with absolutely no premonition at the same time he thought of the heavenly rainbow fairy's warning this time the heavenly rainbow flame caused a huge disturbance experts from outside this heaven might come it was just the immortal world fighting for it this time there were also the dark worlds behind the immortal world and they were on it as well but whether or not that ghost came from the dark worlds no one knew although long chan was shocked he wasn't afraid he possessed lightning and fire so he wasn't afraid of such a life form however Bai Shishi and Bai Zayol seemed particularly afraid of these ghost monsters. That would affect their sense of danger and perception in a battle against them. That was a problem. After asking about it, he learned that this fear was something they were born with. Apparently, it came from Bai Jante. As for why, it was some secret that the two of them had never uncovered no wonder long chen had felt bai jantang's aura to be strange when they had fought back then it was as if his body was concealing some strange aura it seemed that bai jantang also had his secrets none of those people were as simple as they appeared on the surface when they returned to their residence bai shishi and bai Zayol felt a bit better this residence was very extravagant and could overlook the majority of the city other than the heavenly rainbow fairy statue this building was the tallest one in the city it could be seen just how focused the heavenly rainbow domain was on keeping long chen out of trouble everything was free whatever they wanted people went out to get it they were all so courteous that even long chen felt embarrassed it felt like if he were really to cause trouble here it would be inhumane let's all rest and enter our peak condition when the heavenly rainbow flame appears it will probably be a true battle of tigers and dragons said long chen after thinking about it he still decided to tell them a bit about what the heavenly rainbow fairy had warned him about mainly the part about experts from outside this heaven coming as well as the possible invasion of those terrifying life forms from the dark worlds he only told them so that they should be mentally prepared their enemies were not just limited to those in the immortal world he didn't want them to be surprised when they suddenly faced strange new opponents this is going to be big i wonder if it will draw our people over as well said kin feng excitedly after ascending the dragon blood legion was spread throughout the nine heavens and ten lands it was only through the heavenly rainbow fairy's story that long chen understood just how big of a concept this was even for the huian sect that was spread throughout the entire world it wasn't too realistic for them to reach every corner of the nine heavens and ten lands hence gathering the dragon blood legion would prove to be very difficult however long chen believed that they would rise once more as his fame rose and rose sooner or later it would reach every corner of the nine heavens and ten lands bai shishi and the others started meditating they then entered their peak condition ready to fight at any moment 
as for Long Chen, he went into seclusion to test split the heavens. He tested just how he could use heavenly Tao energy, and how he could break the barrier of the heavenly Tao's. He wanted to unleash the maximum power with the minimum backlash. His 108,000 stars quivered, their divine flames burning. He stared at them quietly. He had always been thinking about a certain question. 99% of the heavenly Tao's power rejected him, or opposed him. Only the slightest bit helped him. However, when he absorbed that trace of energy, no matter what he did, he would also absorb some of the opposing heavenly Tao energy. That energy would wreak havoc on his body, and the backlash of heavenly Tao energy was extremely harmful to him. No matter what he did, he was unable to completely reject that power. If he fully expelled the opposing heavenly Tao energy, he also would be left with no heavenly Tao energy. If that happened, he would simply be returning back to his old path, and under the pressure of the heavenly Tao's split, the heavens would be far weaker. Long Chen sensed the changes as heavenly Tao energy entered his body. It was a turbid mix. No matter what he did, he could not purify it. There were some dirty parts that couldn't be removed. He tried countless times, but was unable to expel that dirty portion. Even his 108,000 stars were powerless. As for the primal chaos space, he had no way of activating it and using it to purify this energy. He drew this energy into his flesh and blood, into his soul, into anything he could think of. But it was all meaningless. With no other choice, he sent the turbid stream into the primal chaos space. It seemed that only the primal chaos space had a chance of purifying it. The countless failures told him that actually making it purify it was the real problem. Just as he was going to think of some other way, the three devil eye water lilies in the primal chaos space shook. The turbid flow of heavenly Tao energy was absorbed by them, and this turbid stream was instantly purified. The resulting pure heavenly Tao energy was all the energy that helped Long Chen. He almost jumped up. So the devil eye water lily requires that kind of dark energy to grow faster. Now the loon come, he found that after the devil eye water lilies absorbed this turbid heavenly Tao energy, they became even more vibrant. They were thriving. Aha, a success, success. I can freely unleash split the heavens now. Long Chen laughed excitedly. He hadn't succeeded in the past because the primal chaos space hadn't had the devil eye water lilies before. Now that they were there, both the lilies and himself could benefit from this. Long Chen, you murderous underworld ghost seed, come out and fight Grandpa Yang. Three days later, when Long Chen and the others entered their peak state, and were ready to move out at any moment, a furious war came from outside their residence. It's Yang Zikong. Bai Shishi and the others were surprised. Just how had this fellow returned? Chapter 3315 The Feather Races Kun Wu After being imprisoned for three days, it seems that he didn't learn his lesson. As soon as he's released, he comes to find trouble. He doesn't want to swallow this anger snorted by Shishi. If he could swallow his anger, he could only be a dead person, said Long Chen indifferently. He wasn't even upset with Yang Zikong's provocation. After discovering the devil eye water lily's magical ability, his mood was amazing. Even this provocation didn't affect him. Boss, I'll go shut him up, said Kin Feng. However, Long Chen surprisingly shook his head. No need. Someone else will shut him up. As soon as he said this, whistling rang out and hundreds of experts converged on Yang Zikong. His provocation ended in an instant. Kin Feng and the others were startled and then laughed. It seemed that Yang Zikong was being forced to act obediently. If he dared to resist, he might be dragged away again. Compared to when they first entered the city, the atmosphere on the streets was much more tense. Other than the human race, several other races had appeared. 
some were demons covered in scales and some were horned monsters moreover there were also some unknown winged creatures life forms from other domains had all come for the heavenly rainbow flame every now and then hostile divine senses would sweep through the crowd not giving a damn about other people's feelings the air was cold with killing intent some people were left terrified by these races that they had never seen before after all they possessed frightening auras some of them had even reached the peak of the four peak realm with the divine light covering the heavenly rainbow domain's capital city clearly their cold pressures were unleashed only to intimidate their competitors if anyone dared to cause trouble inside the city they would be executed by the grand formation boom in the distance they heard loud explosions along with clashing divine light people are fighting again quick take a look a large portion of the people on the streets rushed out of the city so long chen and the others followed however by the time that they arrived the battle was already over there was a life form with a pair of wings and a halberd in its hands standing in the air beneath his body was a human corpse and that person's head was destroyed humans if anyone doesn't want to submit come out the winged life form shouted arrogantly swinging his halberd toward those newcomers as a result that life form had just finished shouting when a dagger appeared out of the air with a flash of cold light the life form's head flew into the air this isn't a place where you can run rampant scram a sneer rang out stunning everyone they were unable to even tell who had done this that life form's head was cut off but he didn't actually die his head rig grew out of his neck and his expression was one of horror the person who had attacked him had clearly shown mercy otherwise they wouldn't just cut off his neck and spare his life someone from the nine underworld hall by shishi and the others hearts shook that person's voice was the same as the one who had targeted long chen at the plaza no one managed to even spot him just now such an assassination technique was truly shocking Boom. suddenly the void exploded and a golden saber slashed through the air unleashing golden light that was like a river of stars after that a strange dagger appeared in midair blocking that saber runes then exploded as divine light clashed and two figures appeared one of them was that nine underworld hunter that had targeted long chan on the plaza the other was a large life form that was like a small mountain with golden hair this life form also had a pair of golden wings but his blood kai was astounding he had golden light emitting from his body that was actually golden flames the entire world seemed to start burning because of him the saber and dagger rumbled emitting wave after wave of power it shook the spectators aren't you being too arrogant to tell my feather races people to scram sneered the winged life form his voice like thunder in the air is the feather race so amazing in front of my nine underworld hall you aren't qualified to be arrogant replied the nine underworld hunter not at all losing out to this life form's wild pressure the nine underworld hall let me see if i kun Wu, can provoke it said the feather race expert after hearing him state his name long chen narrowed his eyes interesting no wonder i felt that his aura was a bit familiar but do you know him asked kin feng no but examine his aura carefully does it remind you of anyone said long chen kin feng and kai yu suddenly both shook pun pansy through long chen's reminder they realized why his aura was familiar it was quite similar to kun pengzi's how can this be are they connected asked kai yu the immortal world's feather race is similar to the martial heaven continent's ancient races the feather race are the descendants of the flying bird races and the human race while the descendants of the land beasts and the human race call themselves the titan race then 
the descendants of the scaled beasts and the humans call themselves the dragon people race just like on the martial heaven continent these descendants abandon their identity as part of the human race discarding that part of their bloodline however contrary to the martial heaven continent they have the support of other races here so they are very powerful and have the capacity to be arrogant in the desolate era the human race was at the bottom of the food chain struggling just to survive the beast races were the true overlords of that time when it comes to inheritances the human race definitely can't compare to them naturally sucking up to the beast races will benefit them more there's nothing to nitpick about said long chen just as long chen was explaining the origins of the feather race the nine underworld hunter indifferently said to kan wu the kan surname you have a trace of the divine kun's bloodline i suppose that does give you the right to be arrogant but i tian mo am ranked seven on the nine underworld halls heaven fiend rankings that isn't at all inferior to you don't you think unless do you wish to decide just which one of us is greater right now long chen hadn't heard of the heaven fiend rankings but it should be the rankings for their most talented geniuses otherwise this nine underworld hunter wouldn't be able to act so arrogantly the heavenly rainbow has appeared so i don't want to waste the effort however you've insulted my feather race there will definitely be a battle between us once the heavenly rainbow curtain descends we'll decide which one of us is better the loser will have to kowtow an apology said kan wu he seemed to have some understanding of the heaven fiend rankings and actually pulled back his saber now it was chan mo's turn to put away his dagger he coldly said it just so happens that i also want to experience the divine abilities of the divine kun race just how much have you inherited to be so arrogant after saying that tian mo's gaze swept across the crowd when he saw long chen he made a throat-cutting gesture toward him and then faded into the void before anyone could react to that kan wu also turned to long chen suddenly his gaze sharpened you have dragon blood i want it chapter three thousand three hundred sixteen blown up with a single punch kin feng and the others were enraged they didn't know if he had sensed it or if he had investigated long chen but he actually set his sights on long chen's true dragon essence blood that was the greatest insult there's no dragon blood but if you need some dragon piss just open your mouth i can give you some right now said long chen contemptuously this fellow really was the same as kun penzi they were both arrogant fellows who thought themselves to be unmatched he actually took the initiative just to provoke long chen as too many people were courting death long chen's anger was starting to swell out of control courting death kun wu was enraged long chen wanted him to drink his piss if you want to die i'll help you out said long chen coldly his eyes looking sinister in that instant all the other experts that had come held their breaths just now although there had only been a single probing blow between kun wu and tian mo the power that they had shown was appalling now it seemed that a battle was about to erupt between long chen and kun wu kun wu narrowed his eyes and slowly smiled inferior human race you aren't qualified to fight against me just wait when the heavenly rainbow flame appears i'll kill all of you hopefully you won't be so scared that you hide like a tortoise after saying that he left amongst the crowd several other winged experts followed him it seemed that kun wu's position in the feather race was quite high he was the leader of this group the expert from the feather race whose head had been cut off also followed close behind him it seemed that he was one of his attendants al gutless is eating the crap that you pushed out interesting sneered by zayol as they left 
it wasn't just by Zyol that was disappointed. Everyone was disappointed, but they also knew that despite talking disdainfully to Long Chen, Kun Wu was not so reckless as to want to fight Long Chen now. With the heavenly rainbow flame about to appear, he didn't wish to expose his trump cards. He was also worried about being injured. Long Chen's expression was rather unsightly. Although he wanted to make himself relax a bit, he found that he was starting to lose control over his own emotions. Long Chen, are you all right? Asked by Shishi worriedly. I'm fine. Long Chen shook his head. It's just that when it comes to killing people, I don't have much patience. This isn't good. Long Chen was a bit worried inside. He knew that this was the influence of the purgatory eyes. The angrier he got, the more that dark energy grew, causing his emotions to go out of control. Just now, he had only been the slightest bit away from starting a fight here. But the heavenly rainbow flame was about to appear, and that was something that he had to obtain. If he lost it because of this fight with Kan Wu, that wouldn't be worth it at all. It was only thanks to this thought that he managed to suppress his killing intent. But the dark energy had been growing inside of him. One day it might devour him, turning him into a murdering devil. Just now, his hands started trembling out of his control. He had been about to attack. Long Chen then brought everyone back inside the city and directly went into seclusion, leaving Bai Shishi and the others to keep an eye on any movements in the city. He needed to settle his emotions first. During this time, countless battles erupted within the heavenly rainbow domain. Experts from various paths and various races all gathered. Sometimes a single gaze was enough to spark a battle. It was unknown just how many battles had been fought outside the city, but the heavenly rainbow flame had yet to appear. There were countless competitors for it that had come. However, right now, the ones that drew the most attention within the heavenly rainbow domain were the nine underworld hulls Tian Mo, the feather races Kan Wu, and Long Chen. At the same time, everyone also knew that countless experts had flocked to the heavenly rainbow domain. It wouldn't be surprising at all if some terrifying experts were lying in the dark. After all, they didn't come here to make a name for themselves but to take the heavenly rainbow flame. There were also countless old monsters watching them. They had come for their disciples and descendants. The implications of the heavenly rainbow flame were immense. Whoever obtained it might not be able to leave the heavenly rainbow domain alive. Once the heavenly rainbow flame's master died, the flame would once more become a masterless item, and others would fight over it. That was why every time it appeared, it would cause a storm of blood. There were already countless heavenly geniuses gathered, enough to practically blow apart the heavenly rainbow domain. Days later, the heavenly rainbow fairy statue suddenly emitted divine light. After that, rainbow light illuminated the world. When this manifestation appeared, countless people woke from their seclusion and looked up at the sky. Countless stars revolved in the sky, and those stars condensed into specks of rain that slowly fell from the nine heavens. The heavenly rainbow flame is about to descend. Long Chen was also roused out of seclusion. Looking at the specks of light, he tensed slightly. Specks of light fell toward the heavenly rainbow domain. Suddenly, a ball of light appeared in the southwestern part of the heavenly rainbow domain. Let's go. Long Chen was already rushing in that direction. All of the heavenly rainbow domain quivered as countless experts unleashed their manifestations and full power to charge in that direction. Heavens, there are so many people. These primals were like locusts swarming over the land, covering the sun. Bai Sayul was shocked by this sight. There were more than ten million primals here. Countless experts were charging in one direction, causing this land to quiver. In front of this tide, an individual person seemed completely minuscule. The primals were as small as specks of sand within this tide. 
as for those that weren't primals they could only watch at a distance even if they couldn't compete just being able to witness this was enough long chen you underworld ghosts see lightning flowed around long chen's feet as he shot through the air but then a burst of astral winds struck him the attacker was yang zikon this fellow had just been released two hours ago still filled with fury when he suddenly saw long chen he directly attacked facing him long chen unleashed a single punch which resulted in yang zikon and his weapon exploding without a king item he couldn't block a single blow from long chen nice after killing this dislikable fellow long chen instantly felt refreshed he had used the power of the heavenly daos in that attack it was definitely more than enough against yang zikong but its power stunned even long chen long chen finally reached that ball of light he had just entered when he saw a large figure blocking his way long chen hand over your dragon blood kun wu revealed a set of frighteningly white teeth he stared at long chen like a man eating beast chapter three thousand three hundred seventeen dark life forms scram with kun wu blocking his way long chen snorted and directly unleashed a punch boom kun wu then blocked with his own punch when their two fists collided golden flames erupted after that kun wu grunted and was knocked back as for long chen his fist was ignited by the golden flames long chen looked at his burning fist and coldly said not bad your core true flame is mine kun wu was a member of the feather race with a trace of the kun peng's essence blood so he had a core true flame and it was extremely powerful if it was placed on the heavenly flame rankings it could enter the top fifty no wonder he was so arrogant if his flames touched someone else they would definitely be incinerated to ashes but huo linger simply absorbed these flames making them unable to harm long chen Boom. just then the void shuddered at the core of this giant sphere of light rainbow hydrangeas were blooming at the same time all the flame energy within heaven and earth became lively as soon as those flame flowers appeared long chen and kun wu ignored each other and shot toward the core people went crazy the experts lying in the dark no longer bothered concealing themselves their auras were fully unleashed as they charged to the core they all wanted those rainbow hydrangeas which seemed to be the seeds of fortune whoever could gather the most would most likely be chosen by the heavenly rainbow flame the appearance of the rainbow hydrangeas signified that the fight for the heavenly rainbow flame had officially started so everyone went crazy Boop. at this moment the void was torn apart and demonic kai filled the world a giant burning ape appeared its body bigger than a mountain it then spread its arms devouring the rainbow hydrangeas when the rainbow hydrangeas fell on his body they appeared on his back he instantly absorbed over ten of them. This is an immemorial demonic beast, the raging flame heavenly ape. The elders watching from a distance cried out in shock. It's probably an expert from outside this heaven. Our dark light heaven isn't suitable for the demon race's cultivation. Experts from outside this heaven. Then this competition. These elders grew more and more worried for their disciples and descendants the next moment space cracked like a mirror and black kai filled the air a dual horned life form with bat wings charged into the core with devil kai exploding out of him a life form from the dark world shocked and furious cries rang out that life form's devil kai was horrifying anyone touched by it screamed and rotted in the blink of an eye turning into skeletons that fell to the ground ignorant spirit life forms the heavenly rainbow flame is fated to belong to my devil race that life form laughed his voice sharp piercing people's ears like a needle and stabbing their souls people fled from him 
devil world gate open that life form formed hand seals and a giant spatial gate appeared in the air when the gate opened a torrent of life forms from the devil world charged out these life forms killed people on sight and they all possessed overwhelming devil kai they were shockingly ferocious boom just then another spatial gate opened an intense sensation of death then seeped into this world a skinny man in strange robes with a spear stood on top of the spatial gate he sneered at that expert from the devil race the heavenly rainbow flame is fated to belong to your devil race not necessarily you aren't placing my netherworld in your eyes upon hearing that he came from the netherworld long chen's heart shook and he hastily looked over even the netherworld's life forms could pass through to the dark light heaven then couldn't he find Leng Yuan and Ming Kang Yu in the future? As that gate opened, the death kai of the netherworld poured out. The netherworld's experts also charged into the battlefield. HMPH, it's up to who has the most ability, sneered the life form from the devil race. He didn't seem surprised by the appearance of the netherworld's experts. However, the appearance of the devil world and the netherworld's life forms stunned the heavenly rainbow domains experts just what was going on was some immense battle between races about to start here the dark world's life forms had actually charged into the immortal world was this the spark that would rekindle the flame of that ancient battle geniuses of the human race retreat one of the elders shouted wanting to at least save his own disciples it's useless the barrier blocks our voices said another elder this sphere of light was its own world and divine lords and above could not enter even their voices were unable to penetrate it so they could only watch then what do we do if we gather reinforcements now it should still be on time we have to eliminate all these dark life forms their spatial gates are opened within the domain in other words once they snatch the heavenly rainbow flame they'll immediately leave we won't be able to touch them said an immortal king of the heavenly rainbow domain no need to rush true experts aren't raised but made on the battlefield weren't there so many experts that had gotten bored and started causing trouble now that some real experts have come they can start killing as this person said this the interior of the barrier had descended into a chaotic battle. Everyone was fighting for the rainbow hydrangeas. The dark world's life forms had appeared, so the human race's experts now had a target to fall on. However, although the human race had a numbers advantage, people gradually found that the human experts were fighting for themselves while the dark life forms were united. More and more human experts were dying in comparison only a small number of the dark life forms fell as for other life forms that didn't belong to the human race for example the feather race the titan race and the others they didn't attack the human race but they also didn't focus their attacks on the dark life forms as long as no one provoked them they were only focused on the rainbow hydrangeas unfortunately in this chaotic battle the powerful heavenly geniuses of the human race acted as if this had nothing to do with them they were only focused on gathering the rainbow hydrangeas and they occasionally killed their competitors long chen charged into the core there were countless rainbow hydrangeas flying around him but he wasn't in a rush to grab them his gaze swept across the battlefield with just a single glance long chen sensed many powerful auras some of them were still lying in wait however those experts gave him a sensation of mortal danger boss not good yu xuan is in danger i have to go save her a tablet was flashing in kai yu's hand that was a special keepsake from yu xuan when she gave it to him she said that if she was on the border of life and death it would flash as long as they were within a certain distance his tablet would sense it. Only now did Kai Yu learn that Yu Xuan had also come here. 
over there kai yu suddenly pointed in a certain direction they then saw the devil races experts slaughtering human experts over there let's go without a second word long chen brought his group charging over to that group of devil experts chapter three thousand three hundred eighteen facing the devil race those devil experts were fighting human experts well to put it more accurately they were chasing down the human experts the human experts were like a plate of sand all of them fighting for themselves not only did they need to guard against their enemies but they also had to be careful of the sneak attacks from their fellow human experts as a result the devil experts were slaughtering them in this situation some of the experts that didn't manage to run in time were quickly surrounded the yuhua palace's disciples were one group of those unlucky people originally they hadn't been planning on fighting the devil race after all they numbered only a few hundred people when those devil experts appeared they only wanted to leave and distance themselves however some confident human experts wanted to stand out and kill a few of them to spread their names as a result they were pushed forward by the crowd the devil racy's encirclement was already complete there was nowhere for them to run now it's over it's all over the yuhua palace's disciples despaired they were isolated from their allies and surrounded by the devil racy's experts they were slaughtered one by one in front of the enemy's terrifying display they had given up on resisting boom at this moment a bone saber slashed through the air seemingly splitting heaven and earth in two it swept right by the side of the yuhua palace's disciples as a result the devil experts assaulting them were blasted apart their encirclement was broken it's long chen startled cries rang out from the spectators long chen had finally made his move finally an expert from the human race is standing out an immortal king of the heavenly rainbow domain sighed with relief he had arranged for other experts to handle all kinds of matters for long chen as for long chen during these days he had given him face and didn't cause any trouble now as long chen was the first human to stand out it felt like this immortal king had gained face for himself the yuhua palace's disciples were startled they hadn't expected someone to save them after that space twisted and by ziol and the others appeared in front of them Kaiyu, yukshuan cried out her eyes reddening just now she had thought that she was about to die then she would never see Kaiyu again don't be afraid we're leaving said Kaiyu. as he said this by zyl formed hand seals space twisted and they peered outside the devil race's army only long chen remained long chen e yu xuan cried out when she saw kai yu and the others abandon long chen don't worry boss isn't afraid of anyone hurry and gather the rainbow hide ranges even if you can only grab one it will still give you a chance of obtaining the heavenly rainbow flame having a chance is always better than having no chance urged kai yu although obtaining only a single rainbow hydrangea meant that they had almost no chance of being chosen by the heavenly rainbow flame a remote possibility was still better than no possibility kai yu and the others rushed out as for long chen he stood alone in an army of millions of devil experts there was a lazy smile on his face and his saber was on his shoulder before any of those devil experts could speak long chen said you said that the heavenly rainbow flame is yours how come i don't like the sound of that boss long san dislikes people who are more arrogant than me and most infuriating of all you aren't even people don't you think that you're tired of living inferior human do you know who you're talking to demanded the devil race expert that had opened the spatial gate a sharp light appeared in his eyes 
anyone who looked at him felt their eyes hurt some of them even began to bleed from their eyes and those people hastily turned away and closed their eyes long chen lazily walked forward indifferently saying who you are means nothing to me from the mortal world to the immortal world i have always been slaying devils i don't know how many members of the devil race i've killed no matter how powerful you are you will simply become one of the souls fallen to my sabre there is no need for you to report your name or your origin in any case because i won't remember it ah that devil expert raised his head and laughed as he did more and more devil kai poured out of the spatial gate everyone was shocked people had tried to attack the spatial gate only to find that it didn't seem to have a physical form their attacks were useless as a result the devil kai rapidly infected this world the devil experts bared their teeth looking like savage beasts that wanted to devour people the human race is nothing more than the lowest life form of the nine heavens and ten lands the latest of the six daos to awaken spiritually in the primal chaos era the human race was the most foolish existence of the ten thousand spirits in terms of power you were the weakest in terms of speed you were the slowest in terms of bloodline inheritance you didn't have any amongst all the races the human race had the most difficulty growing now you dare to say big words in front of the grand devil race are you trying to make us laugh to death the devil expert laughed contemptuously countless human experts clenched their teeth furiously at his words but they couldn't retort the human race's history truly was inferior to other races in the primal chaos era and the desolate era the human race was the weakest at this time the devil kai had formed a powerful domain moreover all the rainbow hydrangeas in this domain were absorbed by this devil long chen slowly smiled disdainfully he wasn't anxious at all seeing this devil absorbing those rainbow hydrangeas he indifferently said the human race had a slow start but that doesn't mean that the human race is weak it's the opposite if the human race is weak why is it that no matter if it's the devil demon ghost monster beast and other races they always transform into human form to cultivate after reaching a certain realm it's because the human form is most suitable for comprehending the heavenly downs only the human race receives the care of the heavens a natural advantage the human race was originally the weakest of the races and despite that under your brutal slaughter we still managed to rise up you mock us because you are afraid of us you are afraid that one day the human race will reach the peak of the six daos and settle our debts with you long chen's voice resounded throughout this space his voice full of confidence it uplifted countless humans and they almost wanted to cheer for him his retort was perfect afraid ah oh. the devil expert laughed but this time his laughter was filled with fury this anger seemed to confirm long chen's words that had clearly stabbed this devil where it hurt all right then right here i will teach the human race a lesson i'll show you just how trash the human race is as the devil expert spread his arms the space fracture heaven and earth collapsed at that moment even immortal kings became terrified chapter three thousand three hundred nineteen mo ki race the devil experts aura erupted causing such pressure that it seemed like heaven and earth were being crushed black mist surged out of him resonating with the sky at that moment he seemed to become the master of this space wasn't it said that the dark world's life forms would be suppressed by the immortal world's laws if they come how is his aura so terrifying cried out an immortal king in horror that devil expert's aura made his soul quiver that aura alone had far surpassed these immortal kings it seems that they came prepared that spatial gate is emitting devil kai to temporarily suppress those laws 
so he's able to unleash his full power in that space. Now it'll be troublesome. The heavenly rainbow flame cannot be allowed to get into the hands of the dark life forms. Otherwise, it will bring an apocalyptic calamity upon the human race. Why is no one else from the human race standing up? Is Long Chen supposed to face them alone? As some prayed, others were disappointed to see some of the other outstanding human experts hiding. They were gathering as many rainbow hydrangeas as they could without gathering much attention. At this time, they should all be united, first driving away the dark life forms before fighting for the heavenly rainbow flame amongst themselves. Then the heavenly rainbow flame would end up in the human race's hands. However, people were all selfish. Seeing how powerful the devil race was, they didn't want to fight them. They simply silently tried to profit from this disaster. Thus, when Long Chen came out, not only was there no one to help him, but quite a few of those experts had disdainful expressions toward him. The void rumbled, and that devil expert's pressure steadily grew. It was as if he had boundless pressure, enough to crush a world. Long Chen just calmly waited. Although he was just one person, he was fearless. He was like an arrogant god, completely looking down on that devil expert. Remember my name, Mo Yan. I am a descendant of the great Mo Qi race, possessing the noblest bloodline of the winged devil race. My ancestors slew countless human experts. As for myself, I have inherited my ancestors' butcher blade and will continue to slay inferior races like yours, the devil expert shouted. Hearing that he came from the Moki race, countless elders were shaken. These immortal kings knew of the Moki race's history. They were infamous devils, a nightmare for the human race. The blood of the human experts that had fallen to their hands was practically enough to fill the entire devil sea. Bastard, he's from the Moki race. He cannot be allowed to leave alive, roared one expert. The Moki race's hands were covered in the blood of the human race. This grudge was so deep it had sunk into their souls. So you're from the winged devil race. What fate, said Long Chen. He was a bit surprised that this fellow was from the winged devil race. There truly was destiny between him and the winged devil race. However, Mo Yan's aura was extremely different from the winged devil race that Long Chen knew. Mo Yan could be considered to be from the royal family of the winged devil race. No need to report your name. I can't be bothered to remember the names of those that I kill, said Long Chen indifferently, tapping his bone saber against his shoulder. Ah, uh -uh. Mo Yan laughed. Good, I like arrogant people like you. This will make killing you much more interesting. I told you my name not for you to hear, but for all the human race to remember it. It won't be long before this name becomes your nightmare, the name of the life-ripping fiend of your human race, the one that makes you uneasy to rest in peace, the face you see when you close your eyes, the call of death. You will feel my eyes on your back when you are alone. Mo Yan's voice was like the curse of a blood devil. People turned pale, terrifying scenes appearing in their minds. It was like an invisible hand was clutching their hearts, grabbing their souls. It felt like they were in a nightmare. Some weaker people covered their ears, but it was too late. They were already lost in an illusion and had to resist with all their power. Yu Xuan was shuddering. She was also affected, so Caillou pressed a hand on her back and smiled comfortingly. Senior apprentice sister, don't worry. With boss here, he can't make any big waves. This devil sound invading the soul is nothing more than a scare tactic. Terror stemmed from the soul. Mo Yan first planted a seed of fear in people's hearts to make it even easier for him to influence them in the future. This was mental warfare. With this comfort, Yu Xuan felt much better. Although they had only known each other for over a year, she trusted Caillou the most. Just as Mo Yan was continuing to drone on, unleashing his devil sound soul art, 
A hand slapped across his face. Are you ever going to be done talking? Long Chen appeared in front of Mo Yan like a phantom, sending the latter flying with a slap in front of countless shocked gazes. The devil experts behind him couldn't dodge in time. So, it was unknown just how many of them were blasted into blood mist from being struck by Mo Yan's body. After this thunderous slap, Long Chen's left hand remained in the air and a ripple spread from his palm. That was the sound wave from striking Mo Yan's face. This simple slap returned the world to calm. It was completely sudden. An indomitable expert had been sent flying by a slap in the face from Long Chen, so people were shot out of their fear. This slap created a bloody path through the Devil Race's army. At the end of the path, space shattered like a mirror. Mo Yan barely managed to stabilize himself within that shattered space. The power of that slap seemed to have surpassed everyone's imagination. Are all the techniques of the devil race only capable of scaring others? sneered Long Chen. Although his expression was icy, he was rejoicing inside. He had finally found a way to use heavenly Tao energy without a backlash. He could now support himself with heavenly Tao energy. The feeling of being recognized by the heavenly Tao's was truly marvelous. It made him indescribably joyous. This power that practically everyone had except for him was now his to control freely. The power of the heavenly Tao's was now merged with his own power, and it far surpassed his expectations. An undefeatable will was coming from Long Chen. The current him was unafraid of any expert. Ever since he started cultivating, he had never had such a good feeling. It was like a sealed dragon had finally broken free. The sensation of freedom, of having nothing binding him, was indescribable. Today I declare that the heavenly rainbow flame will belong to me. Anyone who doesn't like it can come and try me. Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him. As it did, the rainbow hydrangeas in the air were suddenly sucked inside the divine ring. All the experts fighting for the rainbow hydrangeas instantly went crazy. Chapter 3320 Battling the Devil Race When Long Chen's giant divine ring appeared, all the falling rainbow hydrangeas were sucked toward him. Has Long Chen gone mad? If he absorbs so many of the rainbow hydrangeas, he'll become everyone's target. By she, she was stunned. It was no wonder Long Chen was so confident about the competition. His divine ring could actually absorb the rainbow hydrangeas for him. A seal of flowers appeared on Long Chen's back. Others had to bitterly work to gather a few thousand rainbow hydrangeas, but Long Chen had instantly absorbed tens of thousands of them, and there were still more surging toward him. There was an endless tide. This drove people crazy. Theoretically, Long Chen should have held back a bit longer. Once the natural phenomenon appeared, indicating that the heavenly rainbow flame was about to descend, he could instantly absorb the rainbow hydrangeas, and then there would be a high chance that the heavenly rainbow flame would choose him. However, this was only the start, but he had revealed this trump card. That would naturally make him a target. Once he was killed, his rainbow hydrangeas would be free for others to take. It wasn't just by Shishi who was stunned. The heavenly rainbow domains experts that were watching the fight were also dumbfounded. Such a method was truly shocking. Such a thing had never occurred in all of history. How regretful! He's too young. If he could just hold back a bit. Revealing his trump card at this time, isn't he just drawing killers to himself? Sighed an immortal king, feeling that Long Chen was far too impetuous. Such a powerful trump card should be left to the end. The appearance of the divine ring created a whirlpool that sucked the rainbow hydrangeas away without leaving a single one. Mo Yan's eyes reddened. This was practically cheating. The human race really knows how to court death flashily. I'll make sure that you get your wish. Mo Yan exploded with killing intent. He spread his wings, 
and the face of a terrifying fiend appeared on both of them after that a miserable wailing sound rang out it was like millions of devil ghosts were wailing listening carefully it seemed that these faces were composed of billions of twisted souls you are the first to make me use my ten thousand devil diagram you can die in peace mo yan flapped his wings and devil kai crashed toward long chen at the same time a black spear appeared in his hand he charged over bringing with him the pressure of an entire world i don't even know how many devil babies like you that i've killed but you're the first to say so many useless words long chen sneered as his divine ring shuddered he shot forward as well his divine ring seemed to have the world clinging to it the current him was supported by the heavenly Tao's, and he represented the immortal world oh a huge explosion occurred between the bone saber and the black spear divine light shattered laws causing heaven and earth to cry as a result the falling hydrangeas were sent flying people only saw two translucent half spheres clashing long chen and mo yan represented two different sets of laws it was a clash of the laws of the immortal world against the laws of the devil world hence heaven and earth shuddered and the wind and clouds changed color this was a world-shaking clash countless experts were blown back all the way to the edge of the barrier the astral winds were like knives cutting their faces however they were pleasantly surprised to see that the rainbow hydrangeas had been blown to the edges as well this gave them a chance to absorb more of them as for the spectators watching they were too busy focusing on long chen and mo yan this battle related to the glory of the human race the void shuddered long chen absorbed heavenly Tao energy sending it into the primal chaos space the devil i water lilies then purified it for him he truly felt like he was one with heaven and earth as if the ten thousand Tao's were his to control this feeling was truly marvelous furthermore he found that in this state he was able to truly control the divine flames of his one hundred eight thousand stars he had finally found the correct path of the nine star hegemon body art in front of mo yan's attack long chen's saber was like an immovable mountain no matter how mo yan pushed his power growing in waves long chen could not be shaken seeing this mo yan smiled cruelly excellent your blood soul is great once i merge you into my ten thousand devil diagram it should make it even stronger suddenly countless runes flew out of his wings transforming into ropes that were like vipers pouncing on long chen boom however as soon as those ropes approached long chen they shattered black lightning surfaced on long chen's body blocking them mo yan's pupils shrank he hadn't expected that long chen could control thunder force furthermore it was the most terrifying heavenly tribulation lightning just as mo yan was shocked by this long chen's left hand swung in an arc and slapped mo yan in the face again mo yan's face deformed people didn't even see him but mo yan smashed into the ground leaving a giant ditch the land rocked everyone was stunned long chen was able to block mo yan's attack with one hand and still have enough power to slap him with his other hand was the power disparity between the two of them really so great everyone could tell that something was off even an amateur knew that someone who could attack while defending meant that they had to be conserving half of their power such a terrifying clash was still long chen using less than half of his power was he really human at the same time as they were shocked the spectators were excited long chen being so powerful was a good thing as long as the heavenly rainbow flame didn't fall into the hands of the dark life forms it was a good thing the yuhua palace's disciples with kai you were all dumbfounded they had not expected long chen to be so terrifying 
when fighting Jiang Bei, Long Chen hadn't been fighting seriously. Otherwise, if he had been serious, one slap would have killed Jiang Bei. Mo Yan smashed into the ground, and the astral winds vanished. The rainbow hydrangeas once more fell everywhere. However, the majority were absorbed by Long Chen's divine ring. The sea of flowers behind him grew. Standing there with a saber on his shoulder, Long Chen was like an unbeatable battle god. His gaze swept over the entire barrier. He announced, Humans started later, but grew, receiving the blessing of the heavenly Taoists. They are the spirit of the ten thousand races. As for you, you are nothing more than a tiny devil brat. You dare to be arrogant in front of the human race. To use the words of a senior of our human race, if you look down on the human race, then you can count your sphincter tight if you don't get the crack beaten out of you. I, Boss Long San, am standing right here. I'm accepting challenges from anyone and any races. Anyone who doesn't submit, come. Boom. As soon as he finished speaking, the earth exploded and a black light shot straight toward Long Chen. Die. Mo Yan came flying out, his killing intent shaking the heavens. When his blood kai ignited, devil flames filled the sky. He was finally enraged and no longer holding back. 